Hello and welcome back, everyone. Hello and welcome back. How are you all doing today? Hopefully you're doing well. How's it going, Valinor? How are you doing, Delka? How's it going, Provacus? Hello, hello, hello. Let's jump on in. Straight on in. Don't hit the delete button. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Don't press that button. It's a bad button. Hey, Provacus, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. 19 months. Oh my good gracious. That's right. We're a little over a year and a half now. Holy... How's it going, Paul? How are you doing today? How's rap going? I'm enjoying this game a lot. It's just, I, I'm enjoying this game a lot. I'm having a lot of fun with this. <laughs> just kind of just kind of existing right now, Delica. Just kind of floating in the wind. Or I guess in the ocean. <laughs> That's what we're doing over here. Oh my goodness. We got absolutely just bodied by that bird yesterday. Oh my goodness, that bird was just super aggressive. Alright. Um, oh yeah, there's not a map in this game. I just hit M instinctually, just as if I was going to open up a map. Alright, so this spear's about done. We need to take a stock. It's been a couple of days since we played last. Oh, I think we're probably low on planks, right? That spear, our biggest issue right now is just we don't have enough planks to keep us rolling. We need more planks. We got some plastics, we got some metals. We got plenty of seeds and emergency potatoes, which is great. We've got actually emergency pre-prepared potatoes as well. At just we have so many potatoes, it's, it's I'm loving it. It's so good. <laughs> we have so many potatoes. We need to go and find recipes. I cannot wait to do more than just doing the simple smoothie. We we got to do some more. Oh my goodness, the waves are getting a little intense over here. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we could go on land and kind of run around, but I don't think there's much we need. Realistically, what we need right now is as much wood as we can get. We just gotta build. We gotta build, 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 get a good little stockpile of things. Go from there. So that's the thing we need. We need, we need to get a better stockpile of equipment. Parts and pieces. But we can spend more time on islands, yeah? That's what we need. Have you found any of the story in the game? Not quite yet. We found a trading post so far. I think we need to go and set up electricity and get like a, an antenna and whatnot going. Those are some of the things that we've we've got that we just haven't played with yet, and that might give us something to do. Because um, there was a at the top of the trade post place that we found, there was like an antenna and whatnot. So I think that might be something we need. But is there an axe in this game? Oh yeah, there's an axe in this game. <laughs> your raft will always uh, your raft will always only and ever be in improved an uh, improvised raft held together with hopes and dreams and kept floating with empty plastic containers no matter how bad the waves yeah it doesn't matter what we do it's always going to be a problem something we do need to do is uh finish filling this in with catchers because uh we fell in there and got eaten by a shark because i left this big old hole here but you can see we've got a bunch of plastic and wood here i'm hoping we can grab that yeah, we can go cut down some trees, but I think we already did a sweep of the island. I don't think there are any trees left, at least easily for us to get. I'm, I can't quite remember what we did, but I know we were on this island before and we've cleared it of trees. So we're going to we're gonna hoist the anchor and head out of here. A captain's log? We can do a captain's log. Let's set sail first. Let's get off the shore here. Get off the shore and start picking up some garbage. We need this. Rotating forward. Alright. A little bit to starboard here. Make sure we don't end up ramming into any rocks if we can help it. Make sure we have to go hard to starboard. Go a little hard to starboard. <laughs> this, it's coming in fast. We don't want to spin. We're currently properly cardinal, cardinally directed. We're on the cardinal directions right now. Or darn close. Darn close to it. Let's slowly drift that way. Let's get into some safety here before we do a good old captain's log. I want to make sure I'm paying attention, listening for good old nibbles, making sure he's not coming after us and taking down our glorious raft. Got some goodies here. Yeah, we're going to need as much as we can get. This wood has been a real struggle for us. I'll have to get used to it again. Ah. Come here, you. Nice. 
You know there's a story in this game, but you don't know how you find the story. I'm not sure. I do know that there is a story because it did say that in the like on the Steam page, saying that it's like game fully released. There's now a story. So I know there is a story. We haven't found it yet, but I feel as though it has to do with these bigger islands, uh, especially because this here tells us to go uh, and find things. Let's not let this get past me here. Oh no! <laughs> I was just talking about that. Ah! Oh, my goodness, they're already under attack. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get these collectors online. Uh, because the hole in the boat there is... I'm having some serious issues. I just got, just got snacked on a little. Uh, when I'm not paying attention, I fall right through. Yeah, I need, I need to be a little more careful. But um, according to this here, uh, follow the radio frequencies. So that's why I'm thinking I need to get that broadcast uh, that, that radio antenna online. I'm thinking that's a that's a high priority for us. Get that real quick. Get over here. Get that thing. Yeah, there's that kooky bird over there. Get that. All right, we need significantly more rope. We need much more rope. Much more rope. Let me get it to better. All right. Ooh. I don't know what. I don't know where we grabbed it, but we grabbed it somewhere. Right, we're kind of going off. I don't, the one thing I don't know is how do we ensure that we're constantly picking up garbage. Right, because there are like some sections with no garbage, which is always disappointing whenever we find these big old empty spaces with no garbage in them. So we, I need more garbage. I need so much more garbage. Actually, yeah, I think this is the island we went all the way up to the top on. Yeah, so we've already been all the way up on this one. We already cleared that one. Barrels over there. I guess we'll just keep kind of moseying that way. Best if we can. Anyway. Captain's log. Day, whoa, day, day unknown. We've just left a large island, one inhabited by a very huge and very aggressive rock. The flying kind, the one without a K. We also found that some semblance of civilization and a shop that we can pay stuff for without a person there. So apparently everything is off of the honor system. We didn't steal anything, of course. We didn't have the ability to. But, we needed to leave the island and continue to search for more materials to finish building up our raft. The raft is coming along nicely. Oh, there's a new island in the distance. One we can aim for. But the raft is coming along nicely. We've now got a couple of different sections to focus on. Yes. The kitchen. The anchor room. We will get a farm started shortly. As well as a smelting and crafting station. Things are coming along nicely. R room quotes. <laughs> no, not room is in building, Dalka. Room is in like space, right? I have room for it. Total, same word, totally different meaning. You, you know what I, you know, you know I totally meant that, right? I just realized this actually needs to be an angled piece. We'll have to put that in in a bit. Um. Hopefully. We will get everything we need to finish off the basic skeleton of the raft, and then we can start building vertically. Let's see what is up ahead, and see if we can keep our cool. End log. Get him. Get him. Oh my goodness. It's a double. Right, we are starving. Oh, and we got a decoration thing. We need our potatoes. Uh, let's go ahead and get, get a salmon on here. We're going to need a big one. If we're going to go to this island, we're going to need a, a big meal here. Although, I don't think we can go to the island yet. I think we still need to scoot around and collect things. I don't feel I don't feel comfortable. I don't feel like we have enough yet. So, I think we might even skip this island, honestly. Woohoo! That's a nice looking table. It's got a little, um. It's got a runner on it. It's got a table runner down the center.
All right. For another one of you. I right, still need a handful more of these. I require more fronds. Yeah, we still have all the metal and the like that we need. We There's really only, I guess, the tree. And we could stop and pick up the tree real quick. We're not going to do any diving or anything, but we, we could go pick up the tree and maybe some roots. That would work. How's it going, Morgor? How are you doing today? Someday we'll have a roof over our heads. Oh my goodness, I know. One, one day we won't be stuck in the sun the entire morning, evening, and night. With the only reprieve being when the sun goes down. Our suntan is legendary at this point. Hey! Hey! Come off, you! Nope, oh, that broke. That's probably close enough. Suntan? You mean sunburnt? <laughs> you look like a burnt marshmallow at this point, right? Like flakes of us coming off. Like uh, we, have to, we have to defend ourselves by shedding. That's the only way we can deal with the sun. We, we've developed the ability to shed. <laughs> it's it's the only recourse we have left. Uh, beets. We don't have a space for beets here, do we? All right. I'll just go ahead and eat this bad boy. I think we're gonna eat the whole sand here. Eat the whole Parker's being aggressive down here. Also, let's go and preset the sail this way so I don't accidentally blast ourselves against the rocks, yeah? Right? Alrighty. Looking pretty good here. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a new spear. And our new spear requires us... We get two metal ingots and a bolt. Oh my goodness, it's so much metal. Uh, bolts... Got us right click and scroll wheel. Got that boy. Uh, we still have enough metal currently going. We actually have some planks on hand that we can actually use now. Let's go ahead and get the smelters rolling again. Oop. Start smelting our ore again. We've got spare wood. You off, drop you off. Hey! Hey! Get off, you! Leave our potatoes here. Oh, I didn't mean to place that plank. That's awkward. Need to pick up some water. Uh, water pipes. We'll water ourselves, and then let's go on to the land. Five. One. Three, four, and five. Okay. Land ho! Alright. Melons! Oh my goodness, what a find. Mangoes, too, we can go cut down in a moment. Get up here. Come on, be the goat. Yes, we are but a mountain goat. Nothing shall stop us. Crap, okay. us all many planks as we can here. Oh, wait. Hold on a second, what's going on here? Why does it look like we stopped streaming? That was weird. I look over at the uh, the stream replay and it shows our offline message. That was weird. Okay, we are good. We're good to go. I'm nervous there for a minute. You we refreshed and it works fine. The stream started buffering. Ah, okay. Yeah, because I it must have done the same for me as well. Because on the on the replay there, seeing what's going on, it just stopped moving. I was like, oh, that's not good. <laughs> How's it going? So, how are you doing today? Can I, can I collect these? Can I take these? Does it, they don't count? 
Brutal. The flowers. Yeah, I just, just grab all this wood here. It's gonna be great. Palm seeds, perfect. We definitely need to get some palm trees growing on the raft. That is definitely a high priority. We need to get the farm online soon. Very, very soon. Well, here. We can take a peek underwater, see if there's anything we want. We got plenty of goop and like, honestly, I don't think we actually need anything right now. From the island. We could always just stockpile more stone, or uh, not stone, more um, more metal for us to smelt over time, but I, I don't think it's really necessary for us to do that. We have so much. No. Nibbles? Stop it. Nibbles! Oh, man. Oops, just broke it. Let's see. Corner... Yeah, that was... right. Go ahead and grab. What do we care about? Let's let's keep going with the copper. Let's just keep passively smelting copper here. I guess not passively, actively smelting copper. Let's keep working on that. Drop off seeds. Got a bunch of pine seeds. Just huge. Or er, palm seeds. Seeds. Uh, we got a bunch of palm seeds, so we can really start moving. The rest of that. And keep the stacks clear. Alright. You off over here. Yeah, we'll get more walls set up in the like here soon. Stones, my good gracious, we have so many stones. It's ridiculous. Oh. Coconut, my bad. Nope. See here. Back to producing more you. Oh, again, just don't have enough anymore. Oh, Malones. What are Malones? There we go, perfect. Next person who gets stuck in this area will not have any trees to cut down. Shake my head. I mean, it's fine. They still regrow, I'm sure. Maybe. It, it, I'm sure it's fine. Don't worry about it. Keep the keep the smelting, keep the production going. All right, so let's go ahead and let's pick up the anchor. And let's start collecting more garbage as we continue to do some more work. Let's get back in this garbage patch over here. Collect everything we can. Uh, Food-wise, the raw meat just looks really good. Uh, let's go for the shark. The shark rolling. We're gonna have to start getting through potatoes. I'm hoping we can start making potato meals or something. Like something something to do with that. That would be really nice. I'm half tempted to build this structure up first, to start building up behind it, so then we empty out this space here. Hello. All of the palm leaves we can get. You know them fronds. Where are you? Use the rope. Let's pick up some, uh, some wood here. Let's get more. We can get another collector going. Okay, what do we need? One, two, three, four more collectors, and we're done. Huge. Four more collectors and we're done. Once we get those four, then all of the wood will start going to going vertical. It'll be huge. Oh my goodness, two crates. That's quite nice. We adjust the ship here. And it's turning into a pretty rough night. Waves are getting more intense here. Can you grab it? Perfect. Bunch of planks. Love to see it. Although, really, we need all the palm leaves. Oh my goodness, so many planks. So good. But we really need more palm leaves. 
I, mean, I won't say no to everything else, but this is the reason why we have it angled like this, is that uh, when we're not coming in at a straight line, we still have something grabbing it, right? Look, it's caught. We aren't going head on into the the debris field here. Okay. Where are you? Oh, that's not good. Falling off the ship. <laughs> Uh, hey dolphins! Hi dolphin! Oh jeez, game saving. Game is saving. And lagging. Laggily saving. I guess I can't hit it. I can't hit anything. Oh my goodness, I can't hit anything. Quick, get that! I need it! Yes, we got that one. Uh, it's so hard when they end up going with a straight line. Up it. Got you. Get off my scarecrow. Okay. Alright, we're on our way. Oh, one short. We are one short. I can't believe it. I mean, I can. It just feels like what normally is, right? Yeah, we got a whole bunch of planks now. We're starting to really stockpile planks, which is huge. Because that was a real shortage. We had a massive shortage of planks for a bit there. Hey, the jumping is so cool. We don't just uh, swim underneath it. Yeah, so we've got 40 planks stockpiled right now. About to have another thing of plastic stockpiled too. Oh, another decorative package. So many decorative packages. Loving it. Decorative package. What did we get? We learned how to build a... A book pile. Oh, very nice. We can make ourselves look very smart. A little pile of books on our shelf in the bedroom. Next. Oh, man. I can't wait until we get to the part of decorating. It's going to be so good. We just start decorating everything. Raining up a storm. Thanks. I don't know how much copper we're going to need, but we might as well smelt the copper we have. We'll probably switch over to metal in a moment here, though. This metal is going to be uh, used more often than copper, just for tools. Oh, completely whiffed it. We could have gotten three flanks out of that. Ooh, we got a... Quick! Hard support! Hard support! Quickly! I don't know if we're going to make it to that one. We might have missed our opportunity to hit there. Hard support! The nice thing about islands is uh, when we knock down trees, we get palms. Oh, I think we actually can make it. Yeah, it looks like we'll make it. Oh my goodness, perfect. Oof! I was weird we were going to completely miss it. Stream buffering again, refreshing. Oh no, that's not good. That's not good at all. Hmm. The stream is technically unstable. It's popping up saying that it's unstable. I mean, it's been saying that for, like, weeks now. I don't know. Check the anchor. Anchor away. Don't want to run into it. Alright, readjust. On to starboard. Alright, perfect. Go ahead and drop this off. Metals. Collector. Oh, yeah, three more now. Keep sumo open and over here on the side. Ah, okay. And over here on the side. 
you see it freeze. Hmm. We do need to cut out that corner. That's okay, we'll get that in a minute. Might as well pick up some metal over here. We always are gonna need metal. Bronze, give me those. Actually, should probably eat before we go too far on the island. I think this is a, this is a different style island. I don't think I've seen this one with this kind of structure before. I'm starting to see some of the patterns of the other ones. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Because our scarecrow. That's okay. You know what? We'll just harvest those, and we just won't put down new ones for right now. We've got so many potatoes uh, stockpiled right now. It's a little insane. Let's go ahead. Those. These. It's, it's a little insane how many, uh, how many potatoes we have right now. So... I think it's okay if we stop producing potatoes for just a moment, you know. I, I think we'll be a-okay if we just take a brief break of potato production. As much as I want to have an overwhelming stock of potatoes, we already have three stacks of potatoes. We've got 60 potatoes on mine. We're, we're good to go for right now. Copper production. Okay. Island bound. What can we get? Definitely this tree over here we can go knock down. I wonder how long it takes to grow trees in the raft. I'm gonna have to find out. Probably a couple days, I imagine. I imagine it's not that fast. So some mangoes and palm leaves. All the palm fronds we could possibly get. I just want to go swim out there and grab all that. Oh! Oh! This is, there's a hole! I mean, granted, luckily, there's a crate down there, so we found something cool, but uh, there's actually a hole there. Jeez. Careful now. You grab a nose. How's it going, Stringers? You cat? How are you doing today? You having a good day or a bad day? We won't know until we ask. It could be both at the same time. Yeah, I want to go grab all this. I think what we might do is see if we can grab it from here like this. We can just fish this stuff off the edge here. Very good day. I started with watching you on ramp. Excellent. I'm glad you're having a good start to the day. That's the goal. Right. Grab these as well. Just this way I don't have to compete with the shark. We left the resources from the safety of the shore. You can get that last one here. Yeah. I can't get that guy, but I managed to get a good bit. I'm alone. The melon. Some more watermelons. Perfect. Watermelons. Watermelons we're using predominantly, I think it's just actually I think exclusively for smoothies. Down here real quick. Oh there, you might as well grab it. Wait a second, when did this disappear? That's not right. Hard at work destroying my raft, I see, Nibbles. Let's get some here. Okay, drop off, drop off, drop off. These are going to start. Actually, we've already filled up one hole. One full pile. Potatoes. Oh, let's just go ahead and look up a potato, a beet. I guess another potato. Just keep that rolling. Just always have some spare food prepped and ready for us. But yeah, we've got another 16 and 13. It's insane how much we have. Okay. Do I have spare nails? I feel like I, oh, I've got a uh, spare nail. 
That means we got enough for two then. All right, two more and we're done. Go ahead and hoist the anchor. Let's sail. We are out of here. All right. Okay, we still need more planks. Still blasting through a bunch of our metals. So I think I'm done with producing copper at this point. We'll swap over to just regular metal now. This regular metal is a little more useful. It's used for all of our tools. Okay. So, we keep making walls. It's just exclusively wood. So yeah, we just need a ridiculous amount of planks. Hmm. If I go to the solid ones, can I replace... There you go. Can I replace uh, the basic ones with the bigger, bigger, better ones? No, it looks like I'll have to dismantle them to do it. Let me get like a better look at this. You can upgrade? Upgrade. Like a specific tool for that? Lockpick. Yeah, that's what we're doing that. And then what's more is this. We got repair. Oh, replace the Oh! Oh, I see. It's the replace function. Okay, so it's not. Okay, cool. We can go ahead and we can just upgrade at any point in time with any of the three different tier types. Oh, that's awesome. Alright, so let's just build everything with the basic wooden walls because they're cheaper, right? They're, they're cheaper, it's going to cost us less to get the, the build going, and then we can always upgrade it later since it just literally requires more of the basic resource. We can make, what, it's four versus six, so we, yeah, it's definitely going to behoove us to go ahead and build everything with the basic one, because we can build three things for the uh, price of two of the bigger and betters, the sturdies. Swap them out later. Stick. Yeah, I think eventually we'll need to go and upgrade. But not yet. So again... A few more of these, and then we're done. Two more, and that's completed. More or less heavy. Over here. Very nice. There's six right there. Oh, what? Totally looked like I got it. Okay, one more. One more, and we've got all of our collectors. We can start putting our resources to other things. Oh my goodness, amazing. Many leaves. Where are you? Yeah. Oh, not far enough. Darn. Alright, yeah, we just need as much material as we can. Gotta keep building. Gotta keep building. We are not done yet. Oh, here we go. We all in leaves. I thought there was more than that. We got three. We still need a few more. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting a little farm set up. It's going to be really nice. We're going to have to go and rearrange a bunch of this stuff here, though. We're going to be, like, fully adrift while we do these uh, upgrades. We're just going to have to poke our head up every now and then to make sure we're not running into anything. But other than that, we just want to keep on going where we keep collecting as much as we can.
Oh, come here, you. I need you. You're important. Come back. Come back. That's three. Oh, so, yes. Two more. Need four more leaves. Next set. Ooh, a double thing of wood. Nice. Alright, start moving over to metal production again, because... We are going to need more. We've been blasting through a lot of our tools. Oh, no. Not quite. We're close yet so far. There we go. How's it going, Knights? How are you doing today? Hopefully you're doing well. Or I'm frantically trying to catch things out here. There we go. Is can't wait for Dragon's Dogma 2. Let's just say it has a unique online feature. You create a character called a pawn that you do. Uh, what you do is you post it online and other players can use the pawn. So when it comes down, it, when it comes back, it learns from those people. Oh. Get off you. Get here. Uh, when it comes back, it learns from that person's playthrough, making the pawn's case stronger in combat, exploration, and quests. Oh, that's real wild. So even when you're not playing, the AI is getting better for you. Pretty cool. I like that. All right, that was all we need. You got a brand new... And, oh! Motivational guy. I don't mind if I keep that. All right, we're done. The build is complete. The main outline of the boat is done. Rejoice! <laughs> We've done it. Now it's time to start building walls. Now it's time to start building walls. We'll put ones with windows in here later, I'm sure. Now, here's the question. Do we want to cut this short, or do we do want to do one more? It's going to be easier for us to push the back further than it is to push the front further. if we, Because uh, we will probably end up expanding at some point here. Which is going to require an absolute overhaul of everything, I'm sure. Oh yeah, a bunch of goodies. I think for right now we can actually just leave it relatively open. Where's roofing? Ceiling. Ooh. Try to determine the direction of these. I guess we go this way, so then it mirrors below. Okay. We need exclusively wood for this, which we have that extra 40 that we've got stockpiled. Metal going, get more metal going. Drop off the metal. Drop off the stone, drop off the... Oh my good gracious, do we have a lot of plastic. Holy... Oh, we should probably go pick this up. We're gonna need more rope for sure. They said it three prawns. Should go nab him. This one's plant. Ah, oh, I was gonna say plastic and prawns, but I missed it. Perfect. A bunch more. Oh, I have been neglecting our health. Okay, let's go focus on that for a minute. <coughs> Refill is looking really good here. Let's go. We orient ourselves a little bit more here. Just stay in this debris field. This is, we gotta stay in here. There's so many, so many goodies. Let's get those back up. Oh, 
planks, more plastic. Yeah, this is why we have these all the way down here, it's just in case we slightly miss something. Be good. All right. Pop back up. Get this upper floor done. I was like, wait, can I not put that there? But can I not put that there? Wait, why can't I put this here? Wait, what? I can only put it here. Huh. Blue lags in game means an island? Oh! You're right, it does. Look at that. Stability, try the triangles. Hmm. Uh oh. Stop you. Hey! Oh. Go quick. Throw the anchor. We got him. Nibbles is down. That nibbles straight into the abyss. Drop off nibbles' his head. Neat. Actually, you know what? I don't know if we have time to go and consume nibbles. It's not a lot of stability if that's the case. Well, unfortunate. Uh, it's like seven dollars Australian for Dragon's Dogma One for folks in check. Oh, okay. Uh, the thing was, uh, it was a thing in Dragon Dogma One. It was kind of its signature feature. Your pawn learns from the stuff it's done, so they could call out that, say, goblins fear fire if they've fought goblins before and seen how they react to fire. Very interesting. Is there a way for me to increase stability here? Because the, the goal... Oh, nails. Have spares. The goal is essentially to do this. Go underneath, that's fine. And we'll repair that. We'll knock this out. Triangle in here. Go. Oh no, it's got another bird! Jeez. Oh, there we go. Can't remember, but there was a way around it, like using triangles, and then continue. too close to the bird's activity zone. Get a little closer to shore. Yeah, I think the bird's gonna be quite displeased with our uh, our location here. Put the anchor. We're gonna prep ourselves with a hard push to, to port here. Let's to see if we get hit. Pillars? Might need pillars. I'm hoping against it, though. Let's put this pillar here and see if this can solve it. 
a pillar is, but it's awful. It's a pillar forest in the end. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping to avoid. I'm hoping we can just start here and then get rid of the pillar. Also, this means now when the bird's coming, we can hide right here. I'm trying to get this set up so we can hide from the bird. That I'm able to hold on to. Maybe we're too far under the bird for it to care. That'd be great. Build restrictions are really tight. Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. So if I remove this, and I accept full responsibility if we lose the material. Yeah. Oh, that's frustrating. We have to have an absolute pile of them? That's insane. It's only wood. Luckily, there's just an absurd amount of wood in this game. Oh, is there a way around all of the pillars we're going to have to have? Oh, a horizontal pillar. Hold on a second. Can I use the use? You go cross beams. Ah, Tucker, sorry. Perfect. Perfect timing. I just broke the thing as I figured it out. I think I used the last of my wood here, actually. <laughs> we have plenty of wood. It's not a problem at all. Wait a second, I'm out of wood. Hmm. Eat my words. That's alright. Got plenty right here. Let's see this back up online. Here we go. Bam, ten. Alright. Okay, so horizontal pillar. This doesn't seem to want to be in existence, jeez. Okay, so if I put this here... No? up there. Okay, so I've got a crossbeam here, but it's it's not giving me extra stability. Oh hang on a second. Really tough with the waves. Wait, okay, so if I do this, now do I have what I need? I do! But only here. Not here. For reasons. I'm so confused. What? Hold us down because it's going to break when we try and yank it. Take those parts down. Just so at least we get some parts and pieces back as opposed to losing all of it. Because the game has to happen. Grinding for wood? Yeah, maybe. But I don't understand how it works. Surprise support for additional floors. That's good. It explains itself. Doesn't really make it easy to place in spots. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll get, like, lines of them going down, then. So. Then we just need some wood. Alright. Head to shore. We'll figure out the rest later. Oh, you're out of planks. Awkward. Where are you? There you go. <laughs> just needed a split second more. Hey, nibbles, nibbles, oh, nibbles. Yeah, it does it on one side. I don't know why. Weird. Yeah, so that's why we're going to go 
across this way on all of them. Because this guy won't do it. Ooh, careful. I'll just keep going this way. Hope for the best. This metal down here, because I'm going to need as much inventory space as I can get here. There we go. Prongs. Drop off the rope. Pretty in here. And also the metal, of course. This oh, wood. We might have enough. Yeah, we do have enough wood. Just real quick. Let's quick test to make sure I do this right. You can build the whole ceiling like that. Okay. Yeah. So now they'll now they'll structure on. I see. So we'll just have to do the cross beams all the way across like that, and that's fine. But we can at least get them all set. Once we get the ceiling done, then we'll at least have a nice safe spot to hide in. And then we can go ahead and move stuff upstairs. I'm not 100% sure what I want to move up there at this point. Originally we were planning on putting like our crafting stuff up there, which we might still do. Crafting up there, food stuff down here, the crafting storage up top up there. Food stuff down here, farming down here, and then like smelting, refining, and then upstairs to be the mast up front. I'm kind of tempted to put the mast in the back though. We'll have to see. Anyway, we have an island to explore. Now, let's grab some free goodies here. It's actually a pretty big island here. With a cove and everything. Oh my good gracious, that is not ready for the goat. Oh. Or the rock being obnoxious. So we'll come back. I think we can capture that goat. At least most of the foundations you have. Uh, the less need to have over uh, power production. Uh, mm, I guess that makes sense because weight out. Standing still trying to get up. Bird is a nuisance. We're going to loot a bunch of stuff in there. Yeah, things are in here real quick. Just a big, quick glance. A scrap. You also know for us. Stay on this side of the island. Hopefully the bird leaves us alone. Oh hey! Oh hey! Another one of those warthogs. We have 15 arrows. We could probably take it, but also our bow is just about broken. So let's go make a new bow. Oh, there's another warthog. that piece of wood go? Bring it back up. One ocean. There it is. No! Come on. Yes, got it. Oh yeah, we need, we need to get a new bow before we go do this. Our bow won't withstand. Nearly broken. Trying to give you a hint without spoiling anything? I appreciate it. I appreciate you trying to keep the, the secret if you can. It does make sense. The larger the the structure of everything, the more um, is required to move it. Okay. Let's see here. Plastics. The berries. Hey. 
Warte. Okay. We need to craft ourselves a bow. What do we need for that? Hide out in our little uh, hidey hole over here, just so we can't get hit by the bird. Alright, so we need more rope. One more rope. Uh, how, right, we've got we've got some spare. We've got some spare. If I just get the metal required for a bolt. Grab that real quick. Perfect. Spare bow acquired. While we're here, actually, let's take a look. The net launcher, explosive powder. Oh, we don't have any spare explosive powder, do we? No, I think we I think we learned stuff off of it, but didn't actually keep one. Ah, oh, I thought we had some one on hand. We don't. Ah, oh, it's a bummer. Hmm. First time you build your raft, the second time you do it are completely different builds. Hard to plan it out when you don't know what upgrades you'll obtain. Yeah, it's true. Because you can't, like, pre-design anything. Like, this space here is going to be for this massive anchor. Right? I thought the anchor was going to be, like, a small-sized thing. It's, it's not. Actually, I need to get some water and food before we go on shore. Go back. Oh. Shark's going to turn. Whoop! Drink up, eat up, and then we can go to shore. Four, five, perfect. Back to the kitchen. Nice. Shark meat, warthog meat, delicious. Large islands have uh, happy exploratory fish, or have happy explodey fish. Okay, so we're gonna have to go hunt for the happy explodey fish because we found one of them already. You know what they look like? They look like this: poison puffer head. Just a poison puffer head. We gotta go get that explosive piece if we want to go and make the net. I'll try and get that goat with. It's not urgent. It'd just be nice to have. Let's we'll get the antenna and receiver going up soon, though. Oh my goodness, look at all this cool stuff we can build. I'm excited to build it all. Water. Alright, some food done. Oh. And more planks. We're running dangerously low on planks again. Don't mind me, I'm just grilling on the ocean in the evening. Right off the coast of an island. Very relaxing, except the whole, like, need to survive kind of thing. Except for the whole, like, you know, surviving, don't die kind of thing. It's very relaxing. We're gonna have to do some more fishing soon. We're running low. We're running low on fish. We got plenty of plants, but I'd like to keep the fish number up. Especially since we can get some more shark bait. It's very relaxing and picturesque here. This like right here is like a desktop screensaver. <laughs> hey, there we go, nice. Cooked meat and cooked shark. Okay, so they all healed up the same. Almost fully topped off. Top off on water. We're good to go. Alright, so go see if we can take out one or two warthogs. I know we need more leather. We don't have enough. How's it going, Monkey Smash? How are you doing today? Welcome back. I mean, I know we can't kill the goat. People in chat were uh, kind enough to tell me to stop wasting my time on that. What do you think about it, Mr. Bird? 
We're just cleaning up the ocean here, all right? Just doing some, uh, doing some preservation work, okay? That's awkward. Don't do that, like, right in front of me, man. Rude. Let him leave. Let him leave. I didn't even hear it land. There's one warthog here, and there's one up there. Oh, middle air is probably better. Just got done dispensing democracy. Oh, man, I've been seeing some clips of Helldivers 2, and I am very intrigued. I'm very intrigued in that game. I'm, like, really tempted to try and grab a couple of fellow streamers that I know that are, like, either play shooters or... Oh, my goodness, look at this. I have, like, a good, a good kind of sense of humor. Oh, hello. Don't do that. Uh, and then just have us running around, just, like, role-playing and shooting things the whole time. It just sounds like a lot of fun. I have to figure out the trash cube thing. Oh! 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 Oh, get back up! That's right, piggy. What do you need to do? I've got the power of terrain and a big brain! Oh, there goes my... Oh. Well, we brought a spare. It's fun, but also infuriating at the same time. Oh yeah, that's why I would need people with a good sense of humor, because uh, if it's going to be a game that... If, if, if it is, like I think it is, after like watching some clips um, of the gameplay, I, I'm assuming it's just like, you know, just pretty much any kind of uh, shooter game on just like hell mode. All right. Thank you. Also, friendly fire is a thing. Oh, <laughs> I can see that being a problem. Right, so we can't get anything here, but we did manage to acquire three more things of leather, a head, and two more things of raw meat, which is good. We definitely need to upgrade our arrows. It takes so many shots. I didn't pay attention to it, but it was like eight plus shots, which is just, it's, that's unacceptable. We, we need it to be faster. We're going to need to start getting metal arrows going. So we'll continue to use these 14 that we currently have, but we're going to replace them exclusively with metal. We have the capacity. We've got enough metal on hand. We can do it. What's down here? Scrap, stone, scrap. Play. Nothing they can use. Playing scrap right now. Everything can and will kill you. <laughs> ah, yes. All these things in the way of democracy. Okay, so that's all that there. We've got a cute little pond here that I guess I might as well just take the scrap because it's literally free. There's no stress or worry about the uh, big bad nibbles coming in here and attacking us. So we'll just take everything from here. Little pool. Saltwater pool, I'm assuming. It should be freshwater, because where it's located, but... Give me more trees. And we know there's an area. Oh, jeez. Uh, we need a safe spot here. Let me find a safe spot to fight this. Can I get up on this rock? I can. I don't really have a good sight line. Oh! Well, you can get up here too, that's not good. Two. Three. Oh! Slip back down. Oh no! 
and caught right on him. In the water. I don't know if he can swim. You might be able to fight him by just juking him with the water here. I don't think the game's going to let it charge into the water. Yeah, and I can prime my arrows. Nice. Okay, so the water's edge is a safe spot. We also use nine shots to take it down. Oof. Yeah, if the metal ones just do twice as much damage, that would be absolutely massive. <laughs> take five shots instead of nine. That'd be huge. Also, I don't know if headshots are a thing in this game. Oh, hello. Oh, we need a shovel for this. Hold on, let me go grab my shovel. It's a dirt. I know we need dirt for stuff. What's our inventory like? It's getting kind of full. Let's go fill it up with what we can first. We'll come back with the shovel. Could there be a Meg in this game? I don't know. We'll see. Definitely want to grab all the wood we can now. Way too important. We're gonna need a bunch of planks for us to go and build out our base. We want this raft to look exquisite. We need a lot of it. Especially now we know that we need to actually build like struts. So it's gonna really increase the amount of wood we need. Back to the raft. There, prancing goat. Is there anything up here that we want to that we want or can grab from this distance? See, we want. Some seaweed here, some seaweed there. Over there. Uh, ship's not in ship shape. I can fix this while we're here. It's right when I, right when I get back. I'm just reeling the thing in. <laughs> oh my goodness! I couldn't poke him because I, I had to reel in my catch. Ah, uh, darn it. Oh, it's okay. We just got a bunch of wood. So that's not we have more than enough plastic. We've got 60 plastic in a box right now. Plastic's not the problem. Those off. You off. These off here. Our shovel. Got a bunch of planks now, so we can go ahead and get the metal going again. Bunch of planks. Uh, no, the leather gun. Needs to go here. Food stuff goes here. We're definitely going to need a bigger box for food stuff, though. Ooh, so many coconuts. That leather goes here. We got eight now. That's huge. Bear wood we'll put in here. All right, this is looking good. Oh, plenty of goop. Rope's looking good. Okay. We got the shovel. Is there anything else we want before we go? Uh, what does it actually take for us to upgrade our arrows? One ingot, six feathers. Ooh. We have some feathers, but not that many. We have five. But we're going to have to go and hunt some more birds then. Okay. That's going to be able to, actually, before we do anything else, let's go ahead and top ourselves off with food and water while we're here. Yeah, just get the same. Uh. What? Oh, man, this is why I need to finish the rest. I gotta finish this so I can cook in peace. You monster! 
Ugh, I just gotta finish this so I can go ahead and cook in peace. Let's finish that second. Smart bird, I know, right? Get me while I'm still, uh, still distracted. Let's see, we've got this, we've got nails. We can probably finish this off. Go ahead and get some more of these struts. Okay. Ceiling. Go to the top, make sure it's all in the same orientation. There we go. All right. Our cooking station is safe. We can now cook in peace. Unless, of course, I'm, like, standing right here looking at my box. I just need to be careful about where I'm standing. But now we actually have the space. We can actually... <laughs> we can actually hide properly now. Crazy bird. An eye out for him. So I don't remember if we can shoot down the seagulls. I know we can when they're... Oh! Ah, you tried. You tried, mister. Wherever you are. Oh, so close. <laughs> that, was, that was dangerously close. That was nearly a very bad day. I guess now would be a time to go and set up our bird nests, right? We're rarely going to be upstairs. Go set up a bird nest. I'll make more, but we'll put one there for now. Let's get two. Bird nest. No, you don't. Ah! Better. How much health? That might be chunked through in a moment here. I'm actually out of wood. Did we seriously blast through all my wood? I mean, we did do some building. Can I get that one over there? Close. Now right, we gotta go back to land then. My stuff's starting to take a. Uh, Bit of a nibble. Oh! This bird, I swear. We do have the... Uh, there is also the idea that we could just completely enclose this bottom floor. And have it be where we have, like... Um, bedroom up front, which was the idea initially, is we had the bedroom in this space here. And then we have the smelted crafting room to be in the center. And then we can go up above, like, excess storage here. Or does this work? Oh! It does! Oh my goodness, nice. Oh my goodness, drumsticks and feathers. Huge. Huge. Alright, if we do that one more time, we can get three sets of arrows. Should be big. Need planks for more of them. That worked out really well. There's a plastic wall sitting here. That bird's making me paranoid. He just keeps staring up at the ceiling. Looking at the sky, prepped and ready to get absolutely demolished. Yeah, so if we go to arrows, we do need planks too, though. No, it's six per. I thought it was five per. We got 11, so we can only make five right now. Yeah, it's probably best to wait then. 
to make that change. All right, let's go ahead and get some drumsticks and potatoes. Hopefully the fire will last long enough. So hopefully that makes it so they don't attack our seeds as much. I don't quite remember how it works. Alright, so we'll get our food and then we'll head to the island. We'll go dig up that dirt that we found. And continue to explore. Progress is being made. Also, I don't know if anyone notices this, but um, the goat up there is currently moonwalking. We don't have binoculars, but... Um, He has the legs. <laughs> you can see his little legs. Let's see. Tools, binoculars. We need two bottles, a bolt, a bunch of glass. Jeez, it's not a lot of glass. Holy. Bottles, plastic, and goo. We've got what we need for that. Let's see if we can make some binoculars here. Two bottles. Bolts. Four glass, some rope. We got the rope we need. We should have four glass. Oh, we're actually short on glass. Hopefully there's enough planks in here for at least one of them to fire off. Okay. That bolt. Give me some glass. I keep hanging out down here waiting for food. Munch on our potato and drumsticks. Giving ourselves nice and topped off. Um, I believe I believe we have enough wood for this. Hey! Oh, wrong side. Ah, bummer. The barrier's gonna get broken through soon. We're gonna need to upgrade to a sturdier stuff sooner or later here. At least on the outer rim, just so it doesn't break as fast. Let's go get some emergency potatoes prepped. We get to just have some emergency potatoes. Okay. Now binoculars. Nice. They don't break over time. Look at them go! Also, these binoculars are great! I'm scrolling with them. I love binoculars in games. Oh yeah, look at that. Even brings in things that aren't rendered. At our at our vision range. Very cool. Our hot bar's getting full. Oh! Expert Survivor! Survive 30 days! Nice, we've made it a month. Very nice. There. Perfect. Thanks for becoming a problem now. Yeah. Go back to the shore and do what we can, because as soon as we run out of planks, we actually have to leave. Planks are determine how much food we get. We can only be here as long as we have planks. 
this is uh, pretty safe for us to grab, so just grab this. I don't think we're gonna need that much glass, so I don't think it's like often we're gonna have to grab more of this, but grab this clay and like here while it's free. The same as the scrap, we've been making a good number of nails of late. Right, we get scraps from barrels and like too, but since there's no shark here, we might as well. Alright. Big Bird's doing Big Bird nonsense again. Dodged him. We can climb up that way, but let's go check out down here first. Dirt, dirt and nails! Dirt and scrap? What? Cool. Free nails, free scrap? No, I won't say no. Same with down here. Let's bring this out into the deep ocean. Copper down here. I might as well grab it. And I'm not sure how much copper we actually need. And I really feel like copper's not going to be that important. But I could be wrong, because depending on what kind of electronics we can build, copper might be end, end up turning into being like an incredibly important piece of uh, material for us to keep collecting. <laughs> hey, Glippy and Glippy Ten. Thanks for the follow. Welcome. Good to have you here. We so can't go further down that way. Let's go check up here. I'm going to need to get a new harvesting tool soon. Our hook is falling apart. Not more of the rocks. Run! Ooh, palm trees. Oh my. Berries, red flowers, don't care about those. Watermelons. But most importantly, mango tree. And coconut trees. Space, perfect. Down there, tree related. We still have four slots, so let's keep on going. See if we can make it up there, up to where it's roosting at. I don't know if we're gonna find anything like need, but there's definitely more trees up there. Something I want. A mountain goat, I believe. I believe we can mountain goat it. There we go. Nice. Moving. <laughs> Stop moving. Yeah. Blue flowers. We've already got blue flowers. And go. Don't do it, Mr. Bird. I can already feel it. I can feel it in my bones. Cool. Berries. Berries. Yep. We tried. Still have inventory space. We might actually have to. Never mind. No, we're out of inventory space. Um. What isn't important? You know. 
Oh! Jeez. Coconut. That's planks. Planks are important. We're gonna have to come back up here and pick up this chest. The mangoes. We're gonna have to come back. We have to come back. We don't have the inventory space for this. We gotta go back. Actually, we might be able to get back up this way. Let's check that. Might be able to, because that's a much more straightforward path. Oh, we, need, we need to go and collect as much as we can. Oh, geez, that's a shark there. Oh, hey, Nibbles. Ow! No, we're gonna get hit by Nibbles too. Ow! Okay, it's fine. We can hide in our shelter and ensure we're not gonna be in trouble. We can actually cook this. We can take a moment to recover. <laughs> Ran from the shark, get hit from the bird. Run from the bird, get hit by the shark. When is their double teaming? They've they've unlocked the power of cooperation. Hey, okay, what? Ricks. One run. Okay. Third chance. That metal's still going. Box and it's uh eat yet. It's got dirt in here. Looks dirty. I guess we'll keep dirt in here for now. Copper, sand, clay. I'm gonna smelt some of it down and maybe make some bricks out of it or something. Berries. Okay. Nail we found. Let's go and dump it with the rest. What's hanging in that bird nest? Oh, yep. Grabbing a rock. Take cover! <sighs> Silly bird. And I might have to go and try and knock it down. Alright, I think we are set. Our inventory is getting tougher because I'm carrying so much stuff in my pop bar these days. It's getting a little harder for us to carry and like, get a bunch on these expeditions. Should probably start leaving some of it behind. Like, we don't need a repair hammer. Or a water cup while we're out and about. Although I really should keep the water cup full with a little bit of free water. We go on these expeditions. Oh. A bunch of planks. Let's just keep that metal going. Get on the planks. Probably leave that there. But that way we can now make a good chunk of stuff with metal. Inventory is looking pretty good. We'll do one more round of cooking here just so we have food when we get back. Wanna do meat? Yeah, it's just do meat. Do a proper grill out. Oh my goodness, look at the steaks on there. Mmm. Oh my goodness, what? Check the rest of the ship real quick. Hmm. Interesting how it deduced what I wanted there. Alright, perfect. Too a lot of material for that, but it was worth it. I wouldn't need for another hook. More planks, more rope, bolts. We're gonna need that soon. We'll probably leave the food. It's fine. All right, we'll set out. Water in our little cup. Totally don't lose the fresh water when we end up swimming with an open cup. That's not how water works. 
Water is mutually exclusive. It can't uh, can't mix and mingle. Just keep just keep running. See if we can mountain goat up here. We can. Okay, nice. A little bit more of a direct way up here. And maybe. Oh, uh oh. Close. <laughs> Soaring right over us with the rock. This thing's a menace. Ooh, I hope our axe holds out. Ooh, it's getting real close. Oh, nice. The tree covers us. Oh, my goodness. Barely. Nice. All right, what we got? Holy hinges! Wow! This is the wrong way. All the way down. We gotta go. Yeah, it looks like the antenna was, is what's gonna get us up here. These kind of places. Lead us there. Back to the ship. Quickly, to the ship! Alright, we're done with the island. Grab a small little scrap before we go. I'm going through a bunch of it for nails. I'm faster. I'm faster! Alright, let's get under cover. There are stakes in peace. Four hinges, one bolt, one goo. Jeez, and a glass. That was a nice one. Hey! Hey! No. Bad nipples. Fuck that. Mango, coconut, peach. This thing's getting quite full. My goodness. Nice. Perfect. Alright. We can pop up. Fresh water. Alright, time for us to shove off. Nothing else for us here. Get out of here. Raise the anchor. On to starboard. On to port, rather. Don't want to go starboard, want to go port. We're going to see if we can go and annihilate that crazy bird. I have to go on a warpath for it for sure. I wonder if we ever get oh I was gonna say I wonder if we ever get eggs in there, but no no, we get feathers. I mean just, just as good, honestly. Alright. So this is now done. So the thing I'm on the fence about is actually putting walls and doors on this side. I actually kind of want to leave it open. Uh, mostly so that we have the capacity to jump in here and throw the anchor down at any point in time. Also, if we want to put a window in somewhere, ah, we do have to break it down first. We should definitely get some windows. That looks good, but I think we're going to stick to wood. How's it going, Yep? How are you doing today? Tom Hanks, eat your heart out. <laughs> His harass is nothing on you. Yeah. Check us out. Fully self-sufficient. Well, almost fully self-sufficient raft. We just need more wood. Other than that, fully self-sufficient raft. I hope we can get more of those recipes. All right, so let's go ahead and let's throw some... I mean, we can kind of see through right now, but I imagine these sturdy ones don't let you, right? They look quite sturdy, as, as per their name. Oh, I heard that noise and thought we were being attacked. We really forgot. That's the that's the sound we like hearing. That sound. Means we're grabbing goodies. More ingots. We can't do anything else with ingots right now. Not until at least getting more wood. Okay, so we can make two things of arrows. If we can get another four, we can do three sets of arrows to have 15. At which point then I feel perfectly comfortable with crafting it. 
but not yet. I don't want to craft enough arrows to not quite get the job done. Especially since it stacks to 20. Okay, what do we need to start building? We can go and do another fishing rod. Uh, shears, not something we really need. I haven't found anything to catch. Like, I haven't found any bugs yet for us to catch. Let's see, we can make some more wet bricks. Make more bricks in general. But I don't think we need anything from the bricks yet. Another other smelters already. Oh, what's the difference between these? Responding in a bed also provides you with more health. Responding in a hammock provides you with even more health than a... Okay, so it's just if you die, you get more health back. Which we could make. And we have enough palm fronds, feathers, and nails. I don't want to hold on to it, though. Food stuff. I am curious about these sprinklers and these larger crop beds. Maybe we should start making some larger crop beds here. It's going sideways is helping us so much. Much larger uh, capture rate or capture range. Instead of what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Well, I think it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11. Yeah. One more out of it. Nice. Hammock is prettier, and you can hang it from the ceiling. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, let's take a look at this hammock. That's that. That sounds amazing. All right. Nails and feathers. Hey. Hey. Shut up. Okay. Oh, so there's another... We're going to go straight to another island. Look at that. Nice. Oh, no way. Okay, so we could get it to be, like, right... Where's the head on this thing? See where my head goes. Looks like it's going down. Okay. This way we can still have access to the anchor. And this way we just go around to the kitchen. Nice. You just bought two games recently? Ooh, what games did you get? we we'll remove this horrible bed. Oh, we can't break it down into parts and pieces. Actually, can you? If I use the axe, can I break this into... No, I can't. Oh, wrong button. I meant to hit X. Alright, next night time we'll, we'll sleep in the hammock. Got Moonlight Farewell and Ratchet and Clank Ripped Apart. Both, they're both on sale. Oh, nice. And again, the way we designed the raft, which actually might have a good example here. Yeah, anything that scoots past one side should be caught by the other side. But we have it set as a double. Back of you. There. And... Oh, yeah. yeah, we're gonna need a window over there so we can see. This, this definitely requires a window. I think right there, right? Yeah, I this to be a window. Nice. 
Very nice. All right. We're starting to really stockpile resources. This is great. We can really start focusing on uh, some upgrades and the like here. So, uh, I have to start splitting this up. Inventory's getting too big. Too full. So what's the purpose of the game? Is this a sandbox survival? It's a sandbox survival with a story. I don't really, we haven't really gotten into the story yet, so I'm not 100% sure. Uh, we're just starting to get our raft up and online to where it's like a nice livable space. We're still working on things. The waves. All right, let's go remove these. Oh, we also picked up a thing. What'd we get? We learned how to build another style of a class. Yes. Oh, hello. Oh, I whiffed it. I whiffed it again. Okay, it's just a stone arrow. We didn't lose anything too big here. Another drumsticks. Research table here. A light here for now. We'll end up moving this later, I'm sure, but for now we're gonna leave this. Hey, hey. Nibbles now. Fat nibbles. I'm thinking you're thinking of buying Awaken Astral Blade when it comes out too. It's difficult but manageable. I don't know anything about that game. What's a what's Awaken about? So we got this here, and I'm thinking we just put all of our miscellaneous stuff up here too. Holy jeez. Okay, going and organizing this is gonna be tough because the inventory space is getting a little tight. Okay. Get some drumsticks and potatoes. Honestly, we should probably get, an, we should get another box. We really should get another box. Let's get another box. We have so many hinges that we found. There's not much of a good... There really isn't a good reason for me to not get another chest going. Let's go ahead and build this chest up here, and we'll have the other one be for whatever it is. On this side. Okay. That's going to be our miscellaneous chest, which is going to be all this nonsense. Although the smoothie glass, I actually kind of want to have over here. Now with the smoothie chest, I guess we'll put this in here for now. I'll need a bigger box or something there. Yeah, it's still going to be missing this stuff. trips. I remember to empty this. Oh, I'm thirsty. Drink. Oh. It's categorized as a soul-like action RPG and Metroidvania is side-scroller. Oh, interesting. It's a story-driven game. You don't get uh, a full understanding of the story by the demo, though. ahead and we can organize this later. It's, it's fine. It doesn't have to happen right now. We can organize that later. Fine. Two, three, four, five. Oh, oh our drumsticks just got all soggy. All good there. Uh, this stuff's missed resources, and this box is now empty, so we can now go ahead and remove you. Place you here. Just go and kind of like move them in on each other, or how do we want to do this? We actually get four if we do it like this. We 
could go crazy and have all of our storage right here. The miscellaneous stuff up there. I have like proper storage down here. How much do we need for these? Ropes are the tough one. Actually, planks technically are the tough one. I'm looking at it. Oh, no, we got planks. Rope, oh, got scrap. The hinges. More chests. I'm sure we're going to need more chests regardless. So even if these aren't where they're going to be for like the long term or whatever it is, I'm I'm sure we'll still use all these chests. All right, we now have a storage section. We can more um, aggressively sort stuff. Let's get a tools chest going. This guy here is going to be our, our leftover tools. Anything that we don't need to use right now or for, like, backups, if we make backups, we'll keep them in that chest. Um, the dirt and the sand is still smeltable stuff. We don't want finished products in here. This is no longer a finished product ch chest. Uh, we can... No, we, we, this is not a finished product chest. This is just a smelting chest. That's going to be all for smelting stuff. We don't want finished products in there. Let's go ahead and have natural resources, manufactured resources. I'll take fish, dirt, leather. I really want to organize this. Also, if I'm next to all these guys, am I able to... No, I have to have it open. I have to open up the chest to use them. Right. Yeah, so... Bolt, nail, hinge... Metal... Copper... Tools... Organics. At least down here. Separate. Uh, I guess since this is going to be an organics chest, we might as well go ahead and put uh, see what we can do in here. We want. I guess this is going to be more floatables than it is going to be anything else. So technically, we don't want the rocks in here. Put scrap in here instead because we get that off the floatables. So technically, we also get the rocks too, don't we? Alright, fine, we'll leave the rocks in here. This is going to be stuff that we can get scavenging from the ocean. We might need a second one of these chests. You can stack chests if you hang them on the walls. Oh, that's right, yeah. We'll end up... Uh, eventually, this is going to get moved. This isn't going to be staying here the whole time, because this is eventually going to be our bedroom. And our bedroom's probably going to come all the way down to, like, here. One, two, three, four. Maybe even five slots. All this will be our bedroom, and then maybe this will get moved. Because we'll need a space for like a sofa and stuff, right? Manufactured goods, organics. We'll go ahead and put dirt in organics. Makes sense. It's technically an organic. Last in here. Okay. So now we have drifting stuff, man made stuff, organic stuff, and tools. Uh, we don't have a dump chest. I guess the tools chest will be our dump chest for right now. We just need to get stuff out of our inventory urgently. It's just going to go in the tools chest. Because that's going to have the least amount of stuff in it. It'll require the least amount of urgent grabbing. Right. Plastic hook here. Actually, just keep using this. Where we can. I'd like to use its durability all the way down. I don't want to waste it slower, doesn't shoot as far, it's like, nope, oh, alright. It's not as good, but I'd still like to use it. It's still durability, it's still resources we've used. Soft, uh, self-loss, also looks up your alley. Hmm, I still don't know that one. Yeah, so we should be fine with these tools. At least enough to go do this, except we do need a new axe. All right, new axe. Rope, 
We need more planks and we need bolts. Planks. Oop. And a bolt. Alright, I'm feeling better now that we have that organization sorted. What the? Let the mountain go up the side of the mountain here? Jeez, I do. Oh yeah, art. Oh. <laughs> that did not last long. Our raft is starting to really come along. This raft is now that we have this uh, this back piece right here. It's starting to really come along. It's looking really good. Again, the design style we're looking at is essentially a cog with an outer ring, right? So it's going to be a, a cog where it's going to have the two castles, the fore castle and the aft castle. With the, the lower space in between. Usually that's where you put your mast right in the center there uh, on a cog. But uh, we don't have the capability to do that. Because then we can't see where we're going. So we'll put that on the uh, on the fore castle. Unless we make the aft castle an additional tier. Which we actually reasonably could make a two-tiered aft castle. Depending on what we run into with limitations on space. We could extend this another four or five. And then build a secondary tier aft castle. So we have the kitchen, and then we have like the rudder slash um, anchor in the way back. We might even have a four anchor as well, just to make our life easier from our bedroom, just just in case you know we urgently need to drop anchor. We don't want to run across. And then we can have the upstairs kind of outdoor spot where we have like additional garden things, and then we can have a upstairs indoor space in the back for where we put all of our crafting. We end up moving that all too. So it definitely we could definitely have a. Single tier here for navigation, a double tier here. So we have kitchen, uh, storage and anchor room, crafting room, farm, and then maybe a farm in the... Well, there's something about animals. We might actually have like our animals in there. Maybe animals up here. I don't know. I'm not quite decided, but we, we can definitely build out that way. We're not limited, which is good. I don't want to be limited by it. That'd be bad. But we definitely need all the wood we can get. Plastic. All the wood we can get our hands on. Also just anything, really. Oh, I missed the plastic? Seriously? Here are you. Land. Proper. Grab a wall over here. We're not in need of it, but it's not a dangerous, uh, not a dangerous attempt to get it. I want to grab more scrap, though. I feel like we're getting a little low on it. We're making so many nails these days. All right, let's climb up first. Acquire the wood. All the palm leaves. Okay, I guess that's it here. Pineapple. But yeah, I want to start growing pineapples and whatnot on the ship. Go ahead and use the rest of this. Oh my goodness. No, no, don't do that. What? Oh, good gracious. We're not underwater. Okay, there we go. <laughs> now we're underwater. Perfect. Broke. Get the work piece in this one. It is significantly slower, isn't it? Right, we'll still use it. Durability, we might as well use. I have a feeling we're going to need more glass. Stone. Stone. Okay. I think that's it here. I don't think there's anything too... Oh. I don't think there's anything too urgent we need to grab from underwater. Okay. Good. 
You don't have flippers? No, I don't have flippers. I haven't made any new ones because they just they degrade so quickly. Oh wow, having this is nice. Hey. This wasn't fast enough. Build. That light over there is actually quite nice. Let's refill on this. Let's take stock here. Inventory's looking pretty good. Alright, so that'll just do that. But I still want to keep some, like, you know, individual stacks. Oh, there's actually a sort button. I pressed that before and nothing was getting sorted. I don't know if I like the sort of how they're doing it or how I'm doing it. Not too sure how I feel about it. I'm gonna leave it the way I sort it. the way I, I did it, I like it more. But it's good to know that there is an actual organize button. But that one is obnoxious that it takes the whole thing. I just want st like partial stacks. I guess it only matters on uh, certain items. So I want actually all of it uh, taken out of inventory. That's why we need emergency potatoes on hand. See, those ones we want to be able to just press the button and have it all go. So I guess it's just the floating chest we can't use it on. We can use it on all the other chests. Floating chest is the only one we can. Proper metal glass. No, we just I don't want to use our planks right now. Your drumsticks. I need them. Must have drumsticks to survive. All right, we're getting a bunch of feathers now. This thing's actually outputting a lot of feathers, putting that nest in here. All right, we're gonna need a finished food chest like pretty urgently here. I need to get a finished food chest going. Definitely hurting me that we don't have one. Okay, we got plenty of feathers now, so we can actually start looking at upgrading our arrows. That bird, I know, but I must eat. We must eat. We have no choice. It must be done, Mogor. It must be done. Alright, so we got enough food to get by. The rest of this will let cook into the night. We'll go lay down on our, our cot here. Can't fall asleep during daytime? Ah, okay. Never mind. I thought I was going to try and speed it up, but... A little too late. Get the tilapia on here, too. Just get some fully cooked fish on there, prepped and ready for us. Oh, we have a bed and a roof? I know, right? I mean, granted, uh, the roof that we have for our bed isn't, like, much. But we still have a bit of a roof for our bed. But mostly we have a roof for, like, the birds. We're definitely going to have to do more fishing, though. And I really need to get another chest over here. Probably, like, a full-size chest so these baby chests. Alright, there's something else on the island for us. So let's help head up and out of here. Uh, let's go make sure we're actually setting, our, setting ourselves for not ramming into the... In there. Perfect. Okay, that's the other thing I was wondering. So we're not going to ram ourselves into the shore. But the nice thing is that with... Oh, jeez. Like, with the, with the window here, we can actually raise and lower the anchor from being outside. So that's good. We can set ourselves up for it. All right, full steam ahead. Oh, we got our cooked fish. 
put that blank back, just make sure it's always full. Okay. What kind of things do we want to build or focus on next? Oh. Nibbles! Nibbles, no. Demon. the worst. Yeah, we also have a window. <laughs> Look at us going up in high society here. Making things fancy. Now we're gonna need some more nails. I want to get that extra support in here. Yeah, now we're getting getting an actual full house here. Oop, that's right, that's not there anymore. It's over here. Bam! Nails. Uh, nails come out of scrap, though. So Go ahead and make more nails. Oh, we already got another island here. Jeez. Let's get those running all the way across there. Just for full support. Just in case for some reason we don't notice and the like we're off doing something the shark gnaws through three layers. If this thing goes down. And that breaks. We don't want to lose the entire roof. That would just be horrible. So having two points that it's connected to, I think, is just critical. I think we need to have it connected to two. Uh, yeah, we can go back. We can, we can go to this one to pick up more more wood. I mean, that's really what we need right now. It's just planks, planks, planks. Bunch of bunch of planks. Start moving in. Right. So, crop beds. Start figuring out this medium crop bed nonsense. Start playing with plants. Oh my goodness! How many? The. No. Oh, yep. Into the drink with that one. Need some sort of better way to do that. How many birds can we end up getting from this? It's kind of crazy how many we're picking up. Even more drumsticks. I did not realize how good that is. It's it's really good. Think. Uh, to starboard. You killed the husband and the wife? Well, you know what? They've been eating our potatoes, which is a crime punishable by death. They're not just stealing the potatoes, they're also eating them. You can't do that. The punishment of eating my potatoes is we get to eat you. What? See how you feel. Having your life stolen away from you. And your cock is consumed. Put that down. If we're fast enough, we might be able to scoot ourselves just directly over there and grab those two. Might be something we can do. Bunch of rocks over there. All right. Let's see here. If we want to make... Oh, we can right now. How big is... Okay, that's a decent size. It's not overwhelmingly large. Strictly a decent size. We'll pick up this crop farm. Go ahead and get you what one, two, three-ish. We'll put you like here. here for now. We'll have our farm in the center for the moment. Add more as we go. Move. Baby box. I want the baby box. Get 
do one right here. We need to make sure we have a scarecrow. Oh, no, you don't. Nice! <laughs> Perfect. Alright. Let's see if I can sneak this bad boy in here. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So now. Uh, we can take potatoes and melons. We can put potatoes in here too. We can put pineapples. We can put pineapple seeds. We get those pineapples rolling. And then what we need to do is we need to water the crop. So we might need another water purifier over by the farm. But in the end, we'll probably end up moving this water purifier from over here to the kitchen. Maybe we, maybe we just make another one. Hey. Back off. You don't want to see what I've done to the rest of the rest of your kind that lands upon this shit. Eagle kind is gonna go extinct at our hands. Mostly from eating them, honestly. Not just not just taking care of them. Mostly from eating them. Salt water. Want those planks? All of them. Get some more metal going here. We're gonna need to go and make ourselves a new tool. Tool hook. One bolt. Required. Oops. No planks, though. Get those planks in a minute. I can do them right now. Hmm. Okay, right. go around. Another chance to explore and light while we don't have a very vicious shark nibbling at our toes, which is always good. Some metal there. Grab that. Then metal is going to be super important. Just to stay on top of. Just finish using this hook as much as we can. Let's hop over to the new one. And then we'll, what we'll probably do is, I'm thinking we actually make two hooks. One to keep in storage, then one to use. Just so we always have a spare. Because it's, it's an absolute pain when we just don't have one. Also, I'm curious as to how uh, <laughs> your pro shark go get him. How dare you? How dare you be on the shark's team? Oh my goodness. A uh, hinge, a plank, and a plank fell on the ground. Whoops, it daisies. I'm spilling stuff all over the place. Okay. I don't think there's fall damage in this game. Awkward. I don't think there's fall damage in this game. We can probably swim out and grab those. Not this one. This one, though. We can go drop. Drop. Oh, great. Nothing for us dropping them, but we can do. Uh, the main thing we need to drop in is these. These. Wow, look how fast these grow. We've, like, just planted them. What? No 
hook. Make a second one. So we got a spare. Made items. Perfect. Is the shark still floating here, or is it going to spawn? Dang it, he spawned. I don't see him yet. Another chance. Grab these two real quick. We gotta get back. We're hungry. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I forgot. We're hungry, we're gonna start losing movement speed in a minute here. Actually, not even a minute. Yeah, like, Im imminently. <laughs> oh no, our movement speed! Some faster! Ugh. I don't know where the shark is. Quickly, to our emergency fish. Tilapia, help me. Oh my goodness. Tilapia mackerel. Like a bunch of drumsticks. Perfect. We should also hydrate too, true true. How's oh, going sleepy? How are you doing? Long time no see. Been a while since I've been here? Yeah, it's been quite some time. Been busy at work? Ah, totally understand how that goes. Oh, I totally understand how that goes. We need to get some more torches down here. I wonder if we can get, like, a nicer torch. These are already done. Arm. Is I'm just keep rotating three free potatoes every single time. Drumsticks, let's go get the remaining items and shove off. Are you enjoying Graph? I'm having a lot of fun with this game. I am very much enjoying just the building aspect of it. And, like, we haven't done anything story related. Oh, I totally missed this tree. I came back. I'm really enjoying just the, the floating around, building our raft. I'm totally building a, uh, a cog. Oh, good. Oh, well. Oop. I'm just totally worth grabbing. It saves us a metal. Anything else we missed here? Just flowers for colors? It's a tree I can take down. It is. Oh, yeah, it is. The story's nice. Nice. Yeah, we'll be starting to play the story soon, I'm assuming. Just finishing up the main structure of the raft here. Alright. Uh, it's gonna be nearly full. Drumsticks in me. So we need this spare drumstick here. That's sharp cooked for emergencies. Uh, well, you're doing the story without knowing? Ah, okay, interesting. Hey! Check off you. Actually, I wonder if I can just shoot him when he does that. Okay. I wonder if we can get seeds off the pineapples. We should probably make a smoothie. Otherwise, it? it's uh, pineapple. Two coconuts. And a mango nut. Get that going. Our inventory is starting to get a little too full with these. 
You can talk about the story if you want. Nah, no spoilers for you, please. I, I appreciate no spoilers. I want to bumble around and eventually figure it out. Oh, no one's rolling. Bumble around confused. That's the goal. It feels so good. Construction stuff working. Let's go ahead and let's reorganize this. Make it look pretty. It used to look so pretty in the other location. Heads are here. We haven't found any cooking recipes yet. We've only found one smoothie recipe so far. That's it. No cooking recipes. But we'll need to get the antenna going. Because from my understanding, that can lead us where we need to go. I think we're just about at that point where that's what we're going to be focusing on. We've finally gotten all of our basics online. We now have. We can now sustain ourselves with food. Uh, as long as we keep getting enough planks, we should be a-okay. Oh, on scrap, though. I'm being honest. Here. Found your recipe by slapping stuff together. Oh, can you do that? You, do you... Wait, here's a question. If you just start slapping things together, do you get the the little paper so you remember what it is, or do you have to mentally remember? What's the next game poll look like? Um, let's see. Fable 1 is on there, because Fable 1 got second place for this game. No, you have to mentally remember if you make something by accident. Oh, okay. We might just play around with things and see if we do run into any. Um, but yeah, I know Fable 1 will be on there. But I'm not too sure... We <laughs> drink the glass. I'm not too sure what else is going to be on there yet. I just know that that is guaranteed to be on there. Alright, let's head off and out. We've got things to do. You loved Fable 1 and Fable 2. Fable 3 was meh. Yeah, I feel as though that's the consensus across the board with literally everyone who's played the game. Fable 1 was a masterpiece... Fable 2 was really good, and Fable 3 really didn't need the final act. The final act was completely unnecessary. They could have spent all of their time just making everything before the final act better, and it would have been another superb game. And by making it better, I mean remove the way they did the magic system, remove the way that they did the menu system, and it would have been a perfect game. <laughs> remove, remove some core elements of the game and it would be perfect. That menu is really cool, but it also really sucks. Oh. Yeah, we got a flag right here. Got a little streamer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, the. Oh my good gracious. Just. Fable 3, quite disappointing, honestly. It could have been an incredible game. Just an absolutely just. Another crushed, just just crushing the entire industry, showing it how it's done. But they whipped it. They whipped Mark. Uh, also, you're so bored with your friend. You just painted the whole ship. Oh my goodness. You loved how Fable 2 had nods to Fable 1 in the environment. Fable 3 felt like a completely disconnected. Yeah, it just felt like a completely different game. And the story was fine for, like, the first bit. But again, like, the last part of the game is just... Didn't, didn't, I wasn't feeling it. So, uh, if we if we end up finishing Fable 1, if we eventually ever play it, holy my goodness, jeez, come on. Uh, it <laughs> keeps getting second place uh, on the vote list, so we'll play it eventually. But when we eventually do play Fable 1, uh, of course, there is the opportunity for us to play Fable 2. And if we play Fable 2, we might play Fable 3, but I don't think Fable 3 is going to win the vote, like, ever. To be honest. It took you six hours to paint everything? Oh my good gracious, that's a lot of time. If Fable 3 goes onto the vote list, I just, I don't have any trust that it's actually going to pass. 
I just I don't expect it to win ever. Alright, so we can go get a fishing pole if we want to, but we're still fine on food. We've got plenty of growing, like things are growing right now, so that's not a big issue. Let's see. Okay, this fire basket. Let me check this sucker out. Can I put this on a ceiling? On a wall? These I can't. But I like this fire basket. This fire basket looks really cool. That looks really cool. I wonder how its lighting works. Probably better than this torch. Fire basket up here. Also, can the torch go on? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, and good. And our head doesn't get stuck on it. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, man, I love that you can put things on the walls and the ceilings. It's so cool. Oh, this game is amazing. Ooh. It is. That's just amazing. I love that so much. It's just so good. Holy moly. How do you add a game to the list? Uh, in the Discord, there is a uh, there's a, a game suggestion channel in Discord that you can go ahead and put in there. I'll take a look at them, decide if I'm interested in them. If I am, then they go on the list. Uh, and then eventually they go from the big mega list onto the vote list, which is only five games at a time. It might, might be a bit before it gets there. I know it took a while before we went and did Mass Effect. And uh, Carcinogen was very patient. <laughs> Constantly waiting. I wish I could show you my ship, but it'd have spoilers. Yeah. Have we played Elden Ring? Yes, we played El uh, We played Dark Souls 1, 2, 3, and Elden Ring. All the VODs are online now. All of them are on YouTube. So if you want to see our playthrough of those, you can take a look. Dark Souls 1, we played Great Sword. Dark Souls 2, we played Great Axe. Dark Souls 3, we played Great Hammer. And Elden Ring, we played Great Sword again. That was our that was our strategy. We did a little sword and board here and there, but not a lot of sword and board. Just a, just a smidgen of sword and board. All right. So, do we care about going to this island? I guess we do, because I mean, realistically, it's just wood. We just need just as many as many and as much planking as we can. Good gracious! Look at how much. Yeah, look how much plastic we have. I have to find some use for plastic, unquote. Table shells, cabinets. Hey! 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 No. Yeah. You never enough wood in raft and plastic? Yeah. I mean, plastic we have a lot right now, but I imagine we'll end up in trouble on that eventually. Oh, are you, we're going to need to get table going at some point. A clock? Curtains. Very cool. A tub. Hardwood rack. Source wood like nothing you've seen before. I wonder if I can actually put planks in there. Just trying to decide what we want to focus on next. Building. Maybe we start maybe we build a large crop plot next. Okay, hard to port. This window is so good. Reset. Grab the cannon collectors. Good, good, good. Nothing left in here. Clear. Perfect. Oh, we got another thing. What'd we get? Got a brand new. Painting. Nice. Alright. How's it going, Lord of the Unearrings? How are you doing today? Can't wait to play Ghost of uh, uh, Tsushima. I don't know that game. What kind of game is that? Game suggestion? Death's Door? 75% off on Steam right now? What kind of game is Death's Door? You can't reinforce your floor, so you can, uh, can't fight it. Elden Ring's so fun right now for you. You're enjoying it? Oh my goodness. Elden Ring's so good. 
played through the whole game. Beat, I think we beat every boss that was available. I don't think we skipped or missed any bosses, to be honest. I think we actually got them all. This thing is getting Hello completely there. full. How's it going, Gilded Hollow? How are you doing today? Get those fronds there real quick. Palm front. Get in my inventory! Yeah, they didn't spot in the inventory again. But yeah, this is getting full. It's looking good. Hey, we got some more seats. It is. Yeah, I think we're going to swap where we have water production at. So we keep doing melons right now. Let's actually get food in this and let's go to shore. One chip. One chip. Oh. Alright. You're waiting before you commit uh, Cardinal Sin and kill to kill every boss? Ah, okay. One thing I want to try real quick. Can I shoot this guy? Ooh, I can! Give me those drumsticks. Juicy, juicy drumsticks. Oh my goodness, with a bow you get so much extra meat. Wild. Yeah, that bird is a nuisance. That's for sure. This door is a short action adventure RPG. Ooh, okay. There's a lot of extra content in Death's Door if you go for achievements. You added the game and another one to the game suggestion in Discord. Excellent. I'll be taking a look at that. I need to go through. There's a couple of them I haven't looked at recently. I need to go take a peek at them. Oh. I need to go take a look at them. Let me go and get that list updated because we're currently still trying to focus on getting through shorter games. Probably haven't put like Red Dead Redemption back on to the vote list or anything like that. Just because those games are quite long. I'm trying to get through some of the shorter ones here. I'm hoping to eventually get some more stream time so then we can stream on weekends a little bit more. Not just during the multiplayer stream time, but like also around the multiplayer stream time on Saturday, Sundays. Um, and just have, because then if we can, then we can kind of just dedicate those to more super short games and then we can start playing the longer adventure games like we used to. Mondays and Tuesdays. We're still a ways out. Still need a little more time to get uh, a schedule cleaned up for it. Recipe for fish stew! Hey! We found a recipe! Nice! Alright. Pineapples. Yeah. Have to find this stuff out with the fish too. We'll take a look at it in a second here. Go on back. Two games you should suggest were short in comparison to the yeah the girthy games like Conan Exiles. Conan Exiles is a really uh, that, that's a, that's a problematic game because there's constantly new content being le like released, and I want to play the new content. So Conan Exiles is a tough one. Uh, but luckily, it's one that we do in spurts. It's not just a, we play this game exclusively always. We only, luckily, it's only in spurts. That's so not, it, it's bad for our time slot, but it's not horrible for our time slot. It's not like RimWorld was, where it was six months, all four streams every single week. Mon uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, every single stream was RimWorld. It just took up literally everything. We didn't do anything but RimWorld during when we were playing it for half a year. The cupboard! Oh my goodness, beautiful. Just depending on what we can store in the cupboard, that's going to be massive. Damn, I don't have any more space for pineapples. Okay, well, uh, we can stuff some spare pineapples in here for now, but we can't do that for long. Fish stew. Oh, interesting! 
So it's... It says times two. So does that mean it's two mackerel, two whatever those start pom pomfifs, whatever the fish are, two beets and two uh, potatoes? Or is it like, does it make two servings? Is it one of each? Either or. Okay. Can you mix and match? Can I do one of each? Of course, this means you need to get another fishing pole online. I was able to... I guess you can't make things out of it. Hmm, okay. Two potatoes or two beets, or one potato and beet, with some fish. Okay, perfect. In which case, it's time for us to fish. And let's, let's get up out of the waves. Alright, we need to get some fish. Come on now. I have to figure out bait at some point too. Oh, yeah. That's a big fish. <laughs> okay, more tilapia. Apparently, some manga authors are going on break. On the death of Akira. And take a break for their own health. I mean, mental health is really important, especially when you're doing, like, wait, what? An old shoe? Especially when you're doing, like, uh, artistic stuff, right? Where you can't just, like, sit down, grit your teeth, and push through, right? Like, manual labor jobs is a little easier to do that because um, you can get yourself lost in your work. But if your work requires you to have your brain constantly churning and thinking, yeah, and then you. You need. You definitely need more time after that. I mean, you know, productivity and just ha overall happiness is better if you take a break, regardless of the job. But for artistic jobs, I totally understand. If you want to be on your your A game, be really creative and whatnot, and not just have a a death spiral, right? Where your happy-go-lucky content suddenly starts turning into like this really morbid stuff. Right. Akira was the author of Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, along with many other projects. Oh, wow, okay. I never, I, I, I don't, I'm not really in that space, uh, in the anime and manga space so much. But I definitely, I definitely don't know. But those names I know. Those, those are very well known. Yeah, no. I believe a good portion of the world is mourning is passing, if that's the case. Because that's a lot of people's childhood, right? You're only catching medium fish? Yeah, I'm only catching medium fish right now. Hey! <laughs> Perfect timing. Very well done. Yeah, it's one of those things. It's like, you know when you have a technical support issue... Right? And you're like, it just won't work. It doesn't work. I've done all the things. I've followed all the stuff. I can't figure it out. You go and you get your friend. Your friend comes over to look at it. And just because, like, the computer recognizes that your friend is going to walk into the room to also try and figure it out, it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, I'll behave. I'll behave. Right? <laughs> so the moment CV Eli is just like, oh, you're only capturing medium fish. It's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me fix that real quick here. See, it's it's not only it's not only medium fish, Sam. I'm giving you other ones too. So we just got a catfish as well. Got a big fish. Uh, if I remember correctly, it also has to do with the rod we're playing with. If we went for the lower quality rod, we would be getting less mackerel and tilapia. We'd be getting more of the um was it mackerel? Hold on, wait, let me look at it. We'll get less of the medium fish if we play with a smaller one. We get more herring. We get more herring and pomfret. Pomfret. I don't know. Is that T silent? Is that a French name? Here you want big fish. 
they give you small and always not what you want. I don't think it matters. You only catch catfish with the wooden one? Really? Hmm. It might just be a durability thing. Yeah, I kind of want to just fish until we get the durability on this rod all the way to broken. I kind of want to just, like, break the rod. <laughs> just like, hey, it's time to fish. All right, we just fish an absolute ton. Break the rod and then store everything when we're done. You're French and it's not French? Okay. So that means we do pronounce the T at the end. So just a palm tree. I'm just checking, because if it's French, we don't pronounce that T. <laughs> salmon. Yeah, French is weird. French isn't the only one. I mean, well, I guess... I was going to say English is weird, too, but Eng a lot of English's weird nonsense does come from the fact that it uses French and Italian words as well. Bases for them. Um, so, yeah, yeah, French is weird. It's leaked into English. Because we borrowed a lot of words. You don't know, but French is so hard. Oh, French is well, French, French and English. English is also ridiculous. If English is absolutely absurd. The amount of non-phonetic spelling, it's very similar to how French. A lot of stuff is not phonetically spelt. There's, like, random extra things in there. Or there's a lack of things in there that you just don't expect. To be honest, you borrow a lot of certain words. It's much easier than French. I think it's just because it's a little bit more consistent. But I never learned French because I always assumed it was going to be too hard. That's why I learned Spanish. With loot are often low on supplies. How's it going, yep? Oh no, you've been hanging out. Yes, we are getting low on supplies. But um, I think we have enough food and water to make it to the rest of the fishing adventure here. Close. Actually, I don't know how much our inventory is. It's going to be really sad if I end up catching a fish and it falls right back into the water. Let me go check my inventory real quick. Good call. Good call. Hold on, let me check this real quick. Okay, we got plenty. Oh, we just got a candle bottle. Nice. French has, like, so many tenses. True, that is the big difference, is that um, the conjugation isn't really a thing. Right? Old shoes. We're going to have to figure out what these old shoes do. What we can do with these. Yeah, but, like, conjugating verbs and the, like, to tenses is, is very different between how French does it and English does it. The hard part is that, like, English has instances where the way we conjugate things, we just don't. Right? Conditional present and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. No, okay, that's, yeah, it's tough. The, the language is hard just in general. Let's be honest here. Just across the board, regardless of the language, languages are hard. Especially because they just aren't consistent. Because even if the rules of language are, like, strictly laid out... The problem is due to cultural drift, it just it just changes. It just constantly changes, right? Like for example, uh, the word okay, okay, how it's spelt, is the is is the spelling for the acronym all correct, spelt o l l k right. Like, it's all correct being O and K first, right? And so we made OK as, as a thing, but then we made OK as an actual word with an A-Y at the end to make it phonetic. So there's two ways to spell OK. The original way, which is an acronym, and then the phonetic way, because why not have another word for it, right? And they're both, they're both fine. You can use both. Oh, he's going to go eat that. Don't you eat that. He went through the whole thing, but he's probably going to be just That's okay. Got what we need to fix it. All right. We've gone ahead and broken the rod. Ah, come back here. Handle bottle. Oh, that's right. I can't put it on there. I've tried. We'll just put it on the other side. Handles. Handle bottles. Perfect. 
So left clicking and breaking the ROM, you can right click. Interesting. I'll take a look at that. You'd like to learn a new language, but with uh, with your TBI, you'd be incredibly difficult or extremely difficult. Yeah, I mean, learning a language in general is just any top. Hey, what are these shoes for? Maybe you could plant this. Wait, we can plant something in this? Oh, wait, is this like an individual plant planter? <laughs> no way. <laughs> Quick, someone get Wally. We found we found a plant. That. Out of the crop. 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 Um, get some. Actually, I think we need mangoes, don't we? But mangoes, I don't think we can plant them here. They require a bigger plot. Okay. The watermelon's going. It's off. Okay, I think it's time. I think it's time. We need to make another chest. So we need scrap. Wait, wait, what? I'm actually out of scrap? No way I'm out of scrap. Oh geez, we're actually completely out of water and I didn't refill this. It's a mistake. Wild. We're actually out of scrap and I haven't made any spare? Well, luckily we're on an island, so we can go get that sorted. Uh, <coughs> Order, please. Might as well go cook some fish while we're at it. Uh, wow, we got four catfish. Nuts. Definitely keep those for later. Well, let's grab the mackerel, right? Mackerel is something we're using. It's just herring. Water. <laughs> you carried such a drama queen. Yeah. It's like I'm dying. I'm dying. Let's do a little water. Just. just like, listen, you're fine. We'll, we'll eat a watermelon if we have to. Calm down, buddy. Right, so we want to go ahead and make this buy some scrap so we can go grab some scrap real quick. Some scrap somewhere around here. Oh yeah, where'd all our scrap go? I hope we had a stack of it still. So they expect you to turn around and see our friend. <laughs> make the soup? Ah, yes, we should make the soup. Got the scrap. Storage required. I just want to get our inventory squared away here real quick. Nibbles, get off! Get off, Nibbles. Monster. Okay. okay. Yeah, we can put them on walls, right? Isn't that nuts? Isn't that crazy? We 
You can do it with big chests, too. You didn't know FFS? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, luckily, luckily, some very intelligent members of chat have been uh, reminding me that we can do that, and that's how I realized we can do this with a torch. And it looks amazing. I love that we can do that. And I love that it's a completely different sprite. It's not just like they took that and plastered on there. It's actually a different sprite. It actually has, like, wood stuff to hold it up. You have 70 hours in this game, you didn't know that either? Well, you learn something new every day. Okay. So, we now have a big food chest. Big food chest. So we've got raw food, place to cook our food, place to store our cooked food. We don't need to have that much cooked food, like, stored. But we can have a good portion of it stored. This will do. Your ship's so crowded with chests? Well, not anymore, Sleepy Eli. I imagine you're going to start taking full advantage of the real estate you now realize you can play with. We have five potatoes per now. That's kind of crazy. Definitely more potatoes than we need. But now it's time for us to start playing with cooking. You can do almost anything on walls and ceilings, uh, and it will change shape. Yeah. That's thousands of items to move. You're good with the crowded. <laughs> You're good with it being crowded. It's like, oh my goodness, I'm going to have to pick up like 80 boxes. You know what? I think I'm fine with it just being crowded. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I'll live. Oh, finish this mackerel. What is it, drumsticks are in here too? We'll keep cooking mackerel and drumsticks then. If this filled with them. Hello there. Well, piled up. How's it going, Dark Soul? How are you doing today? Yeah, you can always get more. I mean, potatoes are potatoes are potatoes. Are you kidding me? Leave that in there. We'll move that later. But for now, I'll just leave the um, drinking glass there until we need to go and choose some more glass. I think we have enough to be able to make that if we want. Okay, so we need two fishies. Two baby fishies. Two baby fishies. Um, and we can grab this. Fishy, fishy, eat, beat. Hook. You sure? Oh, that would make sense. Gotta put, some, gotta put some fuel there first. Nice. While it's going on, let's get this going. Need... Mango. Coconuts. Mango, pineapple, two coconuts. Juice them! Six. It's like, wait, is he doing this? Well, he is now. We're prepped and ready. Oh my goodness, look at this. The kitchen's really starting to move. I'm loving this. Look at this. Look at our kitchen go. We got the grill going. We got the juicer going. We got a cookbook going. This is great. Can't believe you haven't figured out uh, any recipes yet by accident. I didn't even know that was an option to be able to accidentally find recipes. So I just haven't done any cooking at all. Requires a clay bowl. Which requires just greater clay. Okay. Like two rounds of clay bowls, why not? 
We're gonna need a utensil chest. So we can just keep these in the place for that. I'm assuming the bowl disappears after the use as well. Smells fishy, but tastes okay. No, I was just talking about okay. And okay is in all caps, which means all correct. That's the acronym. Alright, so if we if we go ahead and we eat this, drink this. Oh my goodness, look at how much adventuring we can do now. Well, this is wild. Look at how much extra, like, drink and food we have. Yep. Sleepy Eli knows how... See, Sleepy Eli, you know how to spell. Perfect. Perfectly spelt. Exactly as it's supposed to be. Alright, so let's, uh, one thing, last thing I want to do is I want to get this crop plot going. I'm also curious about the sprinkler. We'll check that out. But first things first, let's do this. So, we need nails. We need at least one bolt. We need more, we need more scrap. Alright. Uh, in that case, never mind. Let's just go drop this stuff off. Drop that back for now. Alright, let's go uh, diving and exploring and searching. And chopping stuff down. We got plenty of food, plenty of water. Let's go check it out. You need to go to the store to buy some stuff? You're too interested in the stream? Oh no! <laughs> I've got you glued to your seat. I've got you captive. <laughs> Alrighty. What do we have here? So far, nothing. Did I already clear this? So it was, did I like... Oh yeah, I did. Totally already did. That's where we got the fish soup from. Whoops. Alright, well, in that case, let's see if we can find some scrap. Just need a little scrap. Just a smidgen of scrap. You could be so kind. Surprised. We used to have a lot of scrap just lying around, and now we have none. I'm trying to think what we used all the scrap on. I'm not exactly sure. Shape of the boat looks a lot like uh, the ship looks a lot like yours, but yours is a lot bigger because there's two of you playing on it. That makes sense. Yeah, I'm still expecting to expand the ship. Uh, I think you saw what I was talking about with uh, expanding the ship to having a second tier uh, back cabin. In which case, it's gonna be, I guess, more designed like a caravel, but yeah, start off looking like a standard trade cog without a uh, without a hull. <laughs> Without a hole at the bottom, now, of course. Scramp. One thing I would like is if it uh, counted up how much you had in your inventory each time you pick up an item. I do really like that in games, where it counts up for you, just so that you don't even have to look at your inventory. You just know. Always a fan of that. And sand. Lambs. Hey. Don't get there in time. Got him. <laughs> Perfect. Leave the head. All right. Well, those drumsticks. All right, so we got some food prepped. We'll start working on like making proper food too. Uh, what do we need to make a new one of these suckers? Weapons.
rope, two ingots and a bolt. this. That's included. We need to use. Have you played Subnautica games? Yes! Oh my goodness, those games are amazing. Again, all the VODs are on YouTube if you want to check them out. Oh my goodness, Subnautica was amazing. Actually, in the first Subnautica game, I actually never got up close to a Reaper with Leviathan once. Except for the, you know, the dead one they find. Uh, oh my goodness, this thing is massive. Jeez. Uh, I think I'm just going to put something on here. Uh, we do. Perfect. We're just going to put this back here. Too big for our current setup. Yeah. Get those out. This looks pretty good. Uh, mangoes? Let's do mangoes. We need those for smoothies. We got less mangoes than we do coconuts. Much to organize them. Yeah, so we can see we've got mangoes are a short, a shortfall on mangoes. We need more pineapples too. Pineapples rolling. stop using these shoes in a bit. Like, they're just... It's nice to have, but... One at a time, it's a little ridiculous. The third one's coming out next year? Wait! They're making another Subnautica game? Oh, that's awesome! Yeah, I will absolutely play that game. I absolutely love Subnautica. It's so good. The story's great, the building is awesome. Like, the, the tension and exploration. It's so good. It was supposed to be out this year? Oh, man. I'm, then I'm very glad that I didn't know about it until now. Because that means I wasn't waiting in anticipation for this year. Means now I only have to wait one year for it to show up. <laughs> uh, let's put all our script potatoes up here. Yes, yeah, so do I not have... I don't think I have enough space for these... I think I'm gonna need to get some more small storages, honestly. Maybe we just make more. Make a lot more smoothies, maybe. One, two, one, go. We have to make more smoothies. I think that's what we're just gonna do. Having the smoothies on hand is really nice, just because you don't get thirsty as much. Alright, let's go ahead and let's uh, pull anchor. I mean, we could go and get more scrap over here. We'll grab some as we go. Well, the shark's down. Let's go grab scrap. The shark's out of commission right now. That's our chance to go and collect it. And if we're going to be cooking a lot more, we're going to need all this clay to make the clay bowls. I don't know if we need more copper. Ah, in the middle. Uh, but they're looking for people to hire to make multiplayer... Oh, to make uh, multiple playable characters and online networking. Sounds like multiplayer to you? Yeah, it sounds like they're trying to work on multiplayer. That'd be great. I think Subnautica would work really well with multiplayer. I think it would. I mean, maybe not necessarily the story. The story might be tough for them to get multiplayer to work properly for. But at the very least, just sandboxing... Just doing sandbox, I think it would still be amazing, multiplayer. Even if they don't get the main campaign to work as multiplayer, I think just strictly sandbox would be so good. Okay. 
There's like no scrap here. A lot of rocks. We still don't have a good use for all these rocks that we're picking up. Also, don't forget to water the tree. Oh, I don't think I did. You're right. Hopefully, you got scrap for me. Oh, we have a decorative package, though. Just a little abyss. All the good things over here we can just grab that are floating. Yeah, now let's go ahead and water the tree. We really forgot to do that. Oh, no, I didn't. He's good. Drink up, at least. Either that or it rained. Either either I forgot or it rained. Oh, yeah, it raining. Okay, it rained. All watered up now. I don't know what you mean. Or motivational clothes. I don't know what you mean. I totally took care of it. Totally didn't rely on the rain to sort that out for me. What do you mean? Because we can do two of the others, that's fine. That way we can make chum. We have so many potatoes, we might as well use potatoes for it. Like two more things of uh, this year. We should do. We run to the story, we'll be back. All right, we'll see in a bit here. Stream goes for at least one more hour. Yeah, getting mangoes would be good. It makes the ship look a little weird, but it goes. All right, I think we are set to head up and out. One thing we do want to check out next is the sprinkler. The sprinkler is the next on our list here, building. And after that, I think we'll finally build the antenna in the uh, receiver room. Figure out how that works. Let's shove off. We've got enough scrap. At least for now. Hopefully we'll find some more barrels that can give us more scrap. We'll see if we find more of this exploding fish. Definitely gonna need more glass. Actually, let's just keep rolling the glass all around and about. We're driving around for a bit here, floating. Take care, glass. start making more. But we'll do this. We'll just keep these in here for now. We should really get a utensil chest. Can we get a small storage and we put it, like, right here? What do we need for a small storage? We're gonna need more scrap, which is unfortunate because it's expensive. Oh, it's actually only one. 
Definitely need more plastic. Plastic. Is that what we need? There it is. Another baby chest over here. Perfect. We can use this for all of our utensils. Cool. Putting it on walls. <laughs> it's so cool. Get the pineapples going because the pineapples are the ones that we're actually short on. Comparison to the others. Play bowl. Potato, fish, fish. Yep. Mango. Here. Oh, nope. Come here. <laughs> Tuck that on the ground. Number two, one. Drinking food. I'm on the far side here for now. I'll make just a handful of these. We don't have to worry about it. Oh. Oh, hold on. Here. Oh. Go back. Go back. This is an island over here. We might miss something. Get some more wood. Rick, hard and starboard. Oh man, we're barely gonna make it. Be tough to make it to the island here. You are going there though. You haven't missed it. Alright, that. More glass. Last rolling. Planks in there. I'm gonna keep rolling out glass. Really gonna need a lot more. I have a feeling we're gonna need it for some new upgrades and the like down the line. Or at the very least, we're gonna need it for another water capture or water producer. At the very, very least. Loose. Loose. Barely passed it. <laughs> Barely missed the mark. Right, it's probably close enough here. Let's swim from here. I probably should have dropped off a little bit more before hopping over, but it's okay. Alright. Free chopping time. Give me the planks. Pineapple, pineapple's good. I've been on this island design before. Yeah, if we can stockpile a bunch of planks, we can go and do a lot more building again. Start working on the, uh, the forecastle, which will be our bedroom. Which, of course, is going to require a lot of moving things around. That's where all of our storage chests and the like are right now. That's where the forecast is going to go. So there's going to be some serious chopping and changing needed for that. Let's go and grab as much scrap as we can here. We are dangerously low on it. I still get more sand, though, because now that I know that we need sand to make consumables, it means that sand is going to, sand is going to be a constantly consumed resource. We're going to need as much of it as we can down the line. Probably pick up more seaweed and actually start making fins. 
so we can move faster. Now that we have more storage space. Not that big of a deal to go and grab all the seaweed. Metal. There. This is really good. We got a lot of scrap out of this. They're already at 18. Huge. Definitely needed that. That was huge. I mean, ideally we'd get even more, but I don't know if we're going to push too hard on that. Your phone is flying. I guess you're going to be staying a little longer. <laughs> Alright, don't worry. You just have to make another 45 minutes, and that's the end of our normal stream time. We'll see if we end up going over, because this game is quite addicting. In at least 45 minutes. You ain't driving without music? Oh, I understand that. I understand that. Especially when you're like going to the store, you're on a mission. You gotta have mission music. That is actually something fun I like to do. I like to go... When, like going shopping for groceries or something. You know, you put on like some extremely intense like video game... Um, like boss battle level music, right? You go just like essentially just go blasting through the uh, blast. Oh, stone. I don't need that. Essentially go blasting through the aisles with an absolute purpose. Final boss music. Go. This game's very addicting. It's why uh, you're in the same raft. Here, fun cat. Yeah. Oh this game is so good. And I haven't even gotten into any story stuff yet. I'm just doing the the collecting and crafting part. Melon, am I missing? I always end up missing the melons. Huh. Can't believe it was just a couple of uni. Uh, students that made this game. It's impressive. Very impressive. But it is one of those things out there. Is that, and it's one of the reasons why there's such a uh, push for people to be playing like more indie developed games is that you really don't need 400 people on a game to make a game good. Right? You don't, you don't need a development team of 400 people to make a good game. You don't. Some games definitely require that. Oh, what the? Oh, inventory's full. Oh, and clam and sand. Let's head back. Is it drifting towards the story regardless? If you're just doing the story mode stuff? Yeah, no, that's actually really cool if we're just slowly doing story stuff, just without realizing it. That's pretty cool. Get over here, drop stuff off, eat and drink. You have any NPCs yet? Nope, zero NPCs. Just me alone on the raft on the sea. Okay. Oh, Oof, that barely made it alive. Oh, we've seen the trading posts, but that's it. Can't do anything until we can make scrap stuff. This is actually quite sustainable. I was honestly expecting it to be that like growing pineapples and like wouldn't be properly sustainable, but it is. Go ahead and put that off in here. For now, organize that. Well, I guess we can do it right now. 
easy. Thanks. Rip that off. Seeds. Seeds. Kind of which I think we're you know, chuck full on. Uh, just have to put overflow pineapple here for now. <coughs> I'm dying! I need water quickly. <laughs> You're trying to ask questions without spoilers. I appreciate you doing that. Yeah, I know. I definitely want to like bumble into things all on my own and be like super surprised and excited instead of knowing what's going to happen ahead of time. I always find it more fun and when told it's more entertaining. Okay. So what do we want to build? We need something I need the circuit board. So we need a little more plastic and some bamboo. Copper bars to Oops, copper's not in here, it's in the man-made chest now. Circuit board acquired. All right, so oh it was the sprinkler. Just need two bolts. How does this whoa? How does this work? Mango. Yes. Uh, let's take a palm. Take a palm. Uh, palm seed here. We have so many of them. How does this work? Where is water? So if I go in and grab water, and I put water in here, let's see, and we need a battery. Your friend was explaining the Elden Ring. And you're like, shut up, man, I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> I totally understand that, yeah. Uh, Elden Ring is so good. No bad news? Good. I like when there's no bad news. This bad boy? Okay. Good. Ah! Okay, interesting. We're gonna have to play with that a bit. Wanna do four mackerel or does one soup do it? Okay, one soup does not do it. So we wanna to get to pull first and then drink the thing. I see. And that ensures we have that base. Okay. Perfect. Oh, don't throw that. Just move it in my inventory. Goodness. Oh, something else I want to make. Another bottle. There's four by new. Those and plastic. Hey, what's this bottle? Can I just... Ooh. Okay. Hey. Oh my goodness. How... When did you break that one? If I pour this out, this is salt water. Oh, that's huge. That's actually that's actually nuts. Okay. This looks like it's a five, five container of plastic. That's quite cool. So I'd like to start playing with this instead of the cup. And I'm assuming I can use that for water to use. 
You can get bigger than that? Oh, amazing. Yeah, my assumption, don't correct me if I'm wrong, but my assumption is that there's three tiers in every item. My assumption is that everything has three tiers. Some things might only have two tiers, but I feel like everything's got three tiers. We shall see. Don't correct me if I'm wrong. I want the surprise if I find out that that is the case. Yeah, so the other thing I want to try here. Yeah, so it is five. And then, so once I have five. Man, this goes fast. We can easily just dump that in there. Fill this full. Oh my goodness. I should have been doing this this whole time. Leave this cup in here. I should have been using this bottle for a while. Right, also, the rate at which these grow, we could actually produce quite a lot of quite a lot of wood if we have a handful of these. We have a handful of these, like a whole like forest that we end up growing. Pretty good to go. Planks. Potatoes are huge. All right. Let's go and head out. We got the scrap we were looking for. We got over a stack now. Let's head up and out of here. Yeah, so we're making way more pineapple than we need right now. I think we just never will have enough wood. I need to get more recipes, though. And I hope we can track down some more. Alright, potatoes. Potatoes, yeah, okay, it doesn't look like that actually increases the amount of potatoes we get. Need to find out something else to cook. I'd like to cook some other stuff. I don't know what we could cook. Will it just not, not let me if I do this, or will it come up with a failure? Let's find out. If I do mashed potatoes, I'm assuming this will come out as a failure. We'll find out. I like that you put five planks below. That's great. Very convenient. Hey! Stop, you. Oh, collecting again. Alright, what's the next thing to take a look at building? So, the spring through we've now played with. We play with it a little bit more uh, once we have like the proper gardening area. Exactly how it lands, how it works. I think we start playing with this uh, receiver. And, uh, let's make this receiver first. So we need two circuit boards and a hinge. The hinge is an easy one. Circuit board, on the other hand, oh, it just requires two vine glue. Two vine glue. Oh, 
plastic. Let's see. Oh, it's an actual table. Oh, okay. Alright. Um. Okay. Alright. Here. We'll have our command and control center up here, I guess. Get this yet? Oh, okay. Where's the battery? You need another battery. Alright. You are plastic. up before they end up being cluttered. Stone off. Perfect. Battery. Turn on. Okay. Note added. Antenna 1, 2, 3. Oh! Do we need multiple antennas? I guess that would make sense to triangulate stuff, wouldn't it? Newt note, note added. Does that go here? Okay, I, I don't know. You'll see someone... You'll uh, see someplace dry. This, okay. Wow, that flip of the book is it's pretty slick. That animation, that flip animation. Pretty slick animation. Yikes. <laughs> Repair the sp uh, spots of damage that we see here. Yeah, there's some extra stuff. Just catching. That's why we wanted it like that. So they're not grabbing a whole lot in comparison to what's going ahead of us. They're still catching stuff. That's what we want. Yeah, so I think we just need to make antennas now. Alright, so back to you, antennas. So we need three circuit boards, three bolts, and twelve scrap. That's actually gonna be tough. I don't know if we have enough scrap. We have enough scrap. Uh, although, I think. These you know, circuit boards require scrap. No, they don't. Two. Those. Oh, plastic. And three bolts. Two bolts. Alright, and ten is complete. Down we're down low on that again. Antennas are for story. Oh, that makes sense. I wiggle. Yeah. Oh wild. Oh, okay. Actually, move you a little over. Also, you gonna get grabbed? Okay. Like, you better be. Let's move this over here. Okay. Uh, I can put an antenna there. We put one there. I'm assuming they have to be like distance from each other. Oh, I don't like where that wire is. Right. I don't like where that wire is. What's up? Can I just put the antenna here? Chop this guy down and then move it here. And it's not done. It's done. Uh, you're not gonna have much choice in the wiring, to be honest. Yeah, I have a feeling. We'll find out in a moment here. I'm assuming to triangulate, it's gonna have to be further away than I currently have them set. 
But I don't know how the game's set, so we'll find out in a moment. Oh my god, some of these goodies. You pit in the tree? Sure. Oh, yeah, we can. Well, I wasn't collect I didn't think I was collecting anything when I was hitting them. I, I thought it wasn't quite ready. The last one. Ah, too close. That was my assumption. Okay. Usually how it works. Hmm. I'm the wrong way, buddy. Oh, perfect. There we go. All right, would this work? Let's go ahead and clear out our potatoes first. Pile in more potatoes. See if this works. Hold up. Battery. Fire away. I honestly can't quite tell. I think this last boot didn't get hit. Oh, I couldn't quite get it. There. Let's make sure we grab these before they fill over. You... Going through a real dense field right now. Last boot didn't get hit, you don't think? Yeah, it's not growing, you're right. What we can do then. We can actually take this boot. Right there. Now yeah, it got hit. Nice. Wow, that's way more efficient on water, too. That's, like, way more efficient on water. Because it's one watering for all of those. Oh, I missed him. We tried. So is that a yeah, and this is a really good field we're going through right now. So these two are too close. We're gonna have to move one somewhere. Which realistically means we should move you. I don't want to put it in a place that's gonna be like dangerous for it. Oh, it's still red. What? Huh? Not far enough away. Wrong altitude. Oh. It has to be the same height. This would also make sense. We need a double high raised platform for it. Well, depending on the distance that's required for these guys. Figure something else out. I told you it was annoying. Yeah. You think it's four to five spaces away? For antennas, you use horizontal beams going off platforms like wings. Oh, I see. You know, we could do something like that. Hmm. Oh. We got a huge island coming up with a big old bird. Um but let's let's hold let's hold position. Position for a second here. Yeah, this whole position here. Sort ourselves out, and then we'll go and figure that out here. Okay. So, yeah, we have to have. 
like these are far enough away from each other. Full angles there. One, two, three, four. If I go here, are you still green? No, you're not. Here. Oh no, these are actually funnily enough as close as they can actually be. These two. Okay, so we now know the distance. That's what's important. Greetings, how's it going, Sarks? No? How many sharks have you fed today? Uh only one arm, so I mean I don't think he's too well fed to be honest. Only give him one arm. Let's go ahead and let's build ourselves some scaffold pieces, some raised floor. Do this raised floor. I'm thinking this would just build an antenna station off of that. So it's five, right? So one, two, three, four, five. So this would be where we'd need that antenna. Oh, too close to receiver. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness, look at how much power that thing's lost since we've been playing around with this. Jeez. Too close to receiver. We just like battle station you right here. Hey, it works. Okay, we just put them on the other side. Scan them next to each other. There you go. And now the uh, the line is above our head, so don't feel too bad about it. Ooh, you know what? There's probably a way to charge your batteries. I don't have a way to do that yet. Hmm. Okay. We'll have to use this. We'll just leave this depleted battery in here for now. Of this guy. Oh wow. That's probably the island we're at right now, at the 297 meters out. It's a blue one too. We'll have to be very careful about how long we have them on. Deal with power. Okay. But I guess that island there is our first objective. Makes sense. Uh, in which case, by the way, we can also go ahead and put the little bird bird nest back. Didn't need to take that up. Didn't need to rip that out. It's a little unfortunate needing this here, but that's fine. We can move that later, I'm sure. Oh my goodness, look at how much, oh my good gracious, look at how much we picked up while we were trying to sort out our house. This is amazing. Absolutely crushed it with how much uh, storage we got. I need stuff. I don't really have the space to put this up here now. Unfortunately, it means it goes here. What the? It showed up and disappeared immediately. Like a ghost. Yeah, so it means we're going to have to put this in the center of the boat. Which is more or less where we were expecting to put it in the first place. Which would be so for a little. We are kind of expecting to have it here anyway. I wonder if that'll actually catch it. We can still harvest everything from this side. Holy potatoes. Greener to the big islands and blue to the little ones? No? I was going left hand Luke. 
Three by three for the sprinkler. It says on the side of it. Oh, does it? Oh yeah, it does. Look at that. So in which case, we actually should scoot this sucker over. Ah, but it can actually catch that. Okay. A little obnoxious that it started immediately. And wait for me to go and plant these. I was going to use more water doing it like that, right? Yeah. A little annoying, but hey, I don't have to pay attention to watering. That's not too bad. So many spuds. <laughs> um, yeah, try, try your best not to spoil things. I appreciate that. Glass. going. We can get a stack of that. Yeah, we've gone through so much copper. Alright, we're going to get our smelting rolling again, which means we're going to be blasting through all of our wood again. <laughs> Here we go. You're ready. The fireplace is pretty cool. Water. Love that. Self up. Okay. What do we need for another one of these? Four glass, planks, plastic. Planks, plastic. Another one over here. Just exclusively for watering plants. So that way we can just go straight from here to here. This one will end up moving eventually. We'll put it inside. Maybe we can. Can we do that right now? grab things out of there. We can grab water and... So if this works well inside, which it shouldn't, but if it does work well inside like this, then perfect. We've got this one here, so we've got water and food all prepped and ready. We even have, uh, we've got stuff ready for us. Glass bowl. Uh, glass cup. The bowl. Wait, that worked! Veggie soup is a thing! A mixture of vegetables to keep you warm. Okay, so just an absolute slew of potatoes. Oh, it's actually huge. Oh, it's actually like massive. It's just it's just potatoes. I imagine it also works with any other veg, but it worked with just strictly potatoes, and we have a lot of just strictly potatoes. And we're gonna actually start. I think we're gonna stop doing the uh, pine the pine the pineapples here in a minute. Go to just strictly potatoes again. This means we also have all this real estate here for us to go and get more potatoes. That's the one you figured out, and it's really easy to make. Super easy to make. Drum sticks here. Hey! You're gone. Battle demon. Yeah, our, our potato patches are growing so fast at this point. And since we don't really need more pineapple, we can do more pineapple right now because we have the slot for it. But our inventory is really struggling. Mango. So right now we want to just make as many of these as we... Ooh. Didn't mean to eat that. It's okay. We've got spares. Ooh, the battery's out. Awkward. Yeah, we really need a, a way to charge batteries, or else we're gonna be just flooded with batteries, huh? Hmm. A 
So let's move in. Let's go move in. But before we do, let's make sure we're armed and ready. We now have a lot of feathers. We've been gathering a bunch of them. We just need some ingots. We're just gonna grab all of our ingots here. Six per. Right, let's get three sets of metal arrows. And we'll put our stone ones away in our cool ones. All right, we're ready. All right, let's set sail. Full speed ahead. Go. You had a, uh, a batch of 25 potatoes constantly growing, so you just had infinite soup. Yeah, I think that's essentially what we're gonna be doing. I'm sure there's going to be better ones, which we'll probably swap over to, other than... Please, off, please. Um, other than just strictly potatoes, I'm sure there are other recipes out there, but knowing that we can just do mass quantity potato equals food is great. Because doing those baby fish, I actually want to keep those for... Um... Oh, this island actually looks really familiar. Uh, but I want to keep those for the... Ah, oh, it does work. Perfect. Here, and it does work here. Uh, but yeah, what I want to do is I want to keep those for the, um, not the chum, what is it? A uh, shark bait. Essentially chum. Keep the herring in the, uh, concretes. Keep them for that. a full sea water get this started again oh wait anchor anchor Ooh, that was close we <laughs> almost didn't make that in time I almost hit the uh, hit the wall when the tide, when we hit rough, rough waters, though, we are gonna have problems. Let's just make sure this is a uh, preset to go this way. Actually, if we could like slide a little bit into the cove here, that'd be ideal. There we go. How's it going, Fuzzy Wuzzy? How are you doing today? Oh man, we. Cutting it close here. Go ahead and chuck the anchor down. Right far enough. Oh, shark. I think we're actually going to go a little further. Just in case the water gets rough. We get hit with a storm while we're out here. I want to make sure we're not going to get... Uh oh we're caught. We're caught. We're caught. Yeah, the water is already getting worse. What are we caught on? Oh, we're caught on a reef. This is bad. Keep sliding to the right. Don't spin. Don't spin. Shark, stop pushing me. No! No, our orientation! No, we're sideways! Everything's gone. Everything's gone sideways. Oh, no. Oh, this is bad. We're stuck on a reef. No, this is stuck in a reef. Quickly. Back up. Back up, back up, back up. Oh, no, this is the bird. Back up, back up, back up. Yeah, we got stuck on this rock right here. That guy right there is going to poke through the water. That's what we got caught on, and it spun us 90 degrees. 90 degrees away from where we wanted to be. Oh, brutal. Chuck the anchor. Uh, we're just gonna run sideways for a little bit. It's fine. I'm sure that won't cause any issues. 
At least we're at a, a perfect 90, which means that our catch, uh, our, our, you know, the, the catch space isn't too tough because we have this whole 11, 11 line here. Ah, we're not uh, in deep enough water either. Whoa, that was a huge jump. Quick me in trouble. Question for you? Yeah, what you got, Fuzzy Wuzzy? Oof, yikes. Right, let's go to shore. Make sure we're topped off first here. Smoothie and me. It's fish soup. Would you ever consider doing a Let's Play with Friends of Raft? I've never thought about it. Uh, so I'd have to think on it. I do most of my stuff solo, but I mean, you know, if I was playing with on the, on the Saturday stream, when we play with others, maybe. I set to shore. Hopefully we can swim to shore here without shark issues. What is that? First and foremost, that's a hearty no. Silver algae. Holy. All right, we gotta get back on. We gotta get back on the ship. On the ship. No. We might actually die here. Right. Undercover. I don't know what hit me last there, but something hit me and it was bad. But on the bright side, we got silver algae. So brand new thing for us to go and research. We're gonna have to chill out here for a bit, though. It's safety. Luckily, we have a safe spot to hang. We'll wait for our help. <laughs> I know you uh, solo most of the time. That's why you're putting the bug in your ear. I gotcha. Yeah, no, I didn't think on that. There's some. There are a couple of games out there that I've been interested in trying to coerce the multiplayer team to, to play, but there's some other games out there that I just would never have thought of. Yeah, I forgot. This thing actually requires a battery. Hmm. Let's wait until we have enough health that we can survive a rock fall. Once we can do that, then we can jump out. We've got a warthog over there. Unsuspecting warthog. Bird of mass destruction over there. I'll have to fight that bird at some point, I think. All right, silver algae. I haven't even seen that in this listing here. When we were looking through this. Oh, it's not even a researchable thing. Okay, well, darn. Uh, I guess we'll just put it in our mist box then. And what else to do with it? I'd like to get in deeper, or closer, but our, our ship really isn't going to fare well if we try. I want to get in there so we can just start roaming around. Uh, let's go ahead and grab... drumsticks. We don't really need to. We should be fine on food for a bit. What we do need is we need to bring our other claw, though. Our hook's more or less done. Hey. Okay. Oh, perfect timing. Well, it's huge. Okay, we can actually do the run right now. We can go do that run right now. Potatoes. We'll get another veggie soup going. Okay, so we're good there. This is good here. Just put it there for now so we have it spare. All right. Dark's down. Has our chance. And the water is going to finally, finally calm down.
Now's our chance to get to shore. Get these up on our way. Don't know if we're gonna be dealing with this. Explody boys. We got enough health that we can we can survive at least one rock on our head. Our goal is to stay mobile so we don't get oh. It floats! They float! Through magic! It floats. Ah! We got grab stuff there. Nice. Come over here for us first. Berries. We haven't figured out what to do with berries yet. Just llamas. some trees. Might have to go back and get a new axe. This is actually, I think, the island that we had to flee from. I'm like, yeah, I'm actually pretty sure this is the island we had to flee from last time, so we've done zero exploration here. Other than this little spot right here. Right, right now. That me, I'll try and hit you. I don't want to do it because it's our, our metal ones. Oh wow, look at the little plant, the little tree on there. Actually, looks pretty good. Go with the tree on there. Inventory's fine. We still have some. Let's go get another axe real quick. Also, let's grab some scrap over here. Oh. Perfect. Let's slow brown a little along. Anything else we got down here? Scrap we're quite low on, so let's grab some scrap while the shark is down. Also, I don't think we can get rocked while we're underwater. Gives us an opportunity to take care of this. And he's got a rock right now. Okay. What else we got? Not more scrap. More and more scrap, please. And then we'll go ahead and we'll get that axe. And then we can go right back to exploring the island. Ah, there's more of this silver algae. We'll definitely take these. Hey, Yoshi, thanks for the follow. Welcome. How are you doing today? Welcome aboard. Make some flippers. I've said it once before today. We should make them. Actually, running low on copper. Not like produced copper, but just copper in general running low on. So let's go grab that. Ooh, it's an explody boy. Get some air first. We want an Explody Boy. If we can go and get one Explody Powder from the Explody Boy, that'd be big. Oak. 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 Okay. Floating goo and head. We can go ahead and we can get the, the capture thing now. Great. <laughs> okay. We loosed a bunch of things into the ocean. Back to the ship real quick. Quickly okay, to the ship! Have we made an anchor yet? Yes! We've got an anchor in the anchor house. So we're able to stay steady here. Plastic. Wood scrap soon. Anything to drop, anything to drop, drop. We don't have to think about it, we can just hit the button. Just hit the button. Here, here. Explosives do we need to refine? Scoop that real quick. Forget about it. Any seeds? 
about seeds, about food. A reusable anchor. Yeah, yeah, we got the reusable anchor set up. Yeah. Hydrate? You got it. Delicious tea today. Some China rose tea. Pretty good. Alright. I think we are set, except for that axe. Ow. Right when I stopped, too. Alright. Bolts. Uh, I guess I put all the took all the scrap out. Spare required. Right. Clark's body's not there anymore. That's not good. So we'll be back soon. Collect our stuff and get out of here. We gotta go. Bolt, bolt, bolt. Wow, three bolts. I am very glad we came back. It's, it's a lot. Cat scrap. That's it for now. Head back before we get to... Uh, Bitten to death. And we can try real quick for this scrap here, too. We are, again, still kind of low on scrap. That. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. I don't know when the shark's coming back. Okay. Made it. Oof. All right. A little full pile of scrap. Rest. Bird. Okay, we are set. Let's drop off these bolts and we're good to go. Uh, once it gets more, once we get another smoothie in us, another thing of food. Smoothie. Poked him just in time. Seems if you poke him before he does damage to you, he actually doesn't do damage to you. Which is great. Did not hit him that time. We oh, only got hit once instead of twice. It's going way worse. Oh, rock! I'm dead? Okay. Holy mangoes! Jeez, we got a lot of mangoes from that tree. It's like three mangoes. Oh, don't tell me I didn't bring my monster. Whoa. Atriums. That's a new one. Got dirt and cave shrooms to grab. Hang on. We gotta go pick up our Oh man, we just got over from the boat. Let's see if we can go get some other uh, trees here first before we go back. Just so we can break this axe and have more inventory space. I think there's a warthog. Yeah, there is. Where's that bird again? Hey, can I? Nope. Now. Run. Run, run. Juke him! Juke him! Okay. Metal arrows. Oh, totally whiffed that shot. I don't know if I'm ever gonna find that arrow. <laughs> Whoa, hide! Okay, two hits. Three hits. What the? Four hits. 
I'm assuming five. No. Oh. Six. Okay. Six hits instead of nine? I don't know. It's, it's better, but not amazing. Shark's name's Bruce, by the way. You sure? Pretty sure it's called Nibbles. I'm pretty sure that the shark's illustrious name is Nibbles. Space. Hope you've Bruce. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Got it. Oh, if you Google the name, it's this actual name. I thought it was. I thought it was just a Finding Nemo uh, reference you guys were making. I was gonna say it's definitely not Bruce because uh, fish are friends, not food. Nibbles is a good name? I think Nibbles is a good name. I'm a fan. Then again, it's a reused name. I do like Nibbles, just in general. <laughs> we, we use it in a couple of different games. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy there's so many trees over here. I'm not going to be able to go much further before I have to go back. We're going to grab every single tree we possibly can here. Because with all these planks, we've got a bunch right now. We're actually going to be so full on planks, so we're going to start shoving stuff. Oh my goodness. We're going to start shoving some things into our uh, tools chest, like I was mentioning earlier. That's going to be our overflow slash dump chest. Oh, there's another Warthog around here. Kind of keeping an eye out. Far enough away that the bird's not coming after us now, which is nice. Scrap over here. No garbage just floating. Back in this too, but without um <laughs> it's with a B, it's nibbles with a B. If you're looking at the I think you're looking at the word upside down. You know how to make a second floor? I just figured it out, yes. We just figured it out. We have to put in the uh, reinforcing struts. So that should be everything on this side. Oh, okay, you're just messing with me. I gotcha, I gotcha. I'm like, wait a second. Oh, hold on just one minute. That's not right. Alright, we need to get back over it. Oh my goodness, jeez. Cruising. Doing the wave over here, literally speaking. Okay. Let's get back. Uh, hopefully with only one bite. Uh. Oh. Oh. Oops. Oh, dang it. Hey! Hey! Nibbles? Nibbles, stop it. Got an extra strike on Nibbles there. Okay. Alright. Stuff. 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 Cave mushrooms. Ooh, but we're hiding inside. Are these cave mushrooms? Can I do something with these? Not researchable. So they're actually food. Alright, put them in here for now. Meats. So much wood. Holy moly. The overflow wood. We have an overflow for Fron to do. Wow, this is huge! <laughs> this is great news. Finally getting full up on some of these things. 
You're at a construction site thing right now in Raft? You're playing Raft right now? Yeah, Raft's really good. Doing underwater exploring. It's just, this game's just really gorgeous. And for the most part, relaxing. I really enjoy it. Alright. Back to the island, but this time with a cheval. Alright, now we got our cheval. We're good to go. Oh, thank you for this mother. Thank you. Thank you. Those are hard to come by. Uh oh. Oh, I fell underwater. Oh. There you go. Explosive powder. <laughs> Knew it. Knew you were coming. I can feel it in my bones. Put you in here. Let's actually just make it right now. Stones. Rope. Net launcher canister. Nice. We can now net launch. Perfect. Don't you dare. That's our chance. Go. Go, go. Hey, Yoshi, this is my very first time playing this game, so I have no idea about anything. And I'm actively trying to avoid spoilers. Let's we'll jump in here, grab that dirt. We haven't found a true use for dirt yet, but I'm sure we can find it for something. I imagine it's probably going to be for, like, farming. Yes. Can't imagine what else we would want dirt for, right? Like, <laughs> ah, yes, this dirt is incredibly important. If we didn't have it, we wouldn't be able to make ourselves solar panels. I'm sorry, what? Doesn't make sense. If we had a tree block in our head there. It would have been a, uh, a bad day. Dan, Captain Slog, you got it. One moment. I'm just clearing this little island here. Little auxiliary island, the main one. We'll go and uh, double check our inventory and see if we can keep going or if we have to turn back. We've grabbed so much wooden prongs now, it's nuts. We really don't have enough inventory to keep going. We're gonna need to go back, drop stuff off. Before we go to the next section. Because we, like, realistically, we need to get as much wood as we possibly can. You know, for cooking stuff. But also... This way, we can go ahead and... Build, build, build. Build, build, build. That's what... what? Just talking about wood and scrap. Why don't I just... Crafting wood here. Hopefully he can't get in here. I don't know if he can. Nibbles is persistent, though. If he's just splashing around, he might go for it. Oh, don't you even think about it, big bird. Oh, it's got a rock! Uh, Ow! It was so close to the ground, I'm not surprised to guaranteed hit. No. I should have poked him first. Nibbles. Nibbles. No. Woo. Those calls twice there. That could be really bad. Mojis. Alright. Offload. Load. Hey. Hey. You. Stop it. Oh. Nibbles. Goodness. Okay. Done. Oh, what else we got? Fill some blank. Dirt. Dirt, I think, goes in the front. Yeah. 
think. Where would I put dirt? No, no, I put it in the organic chest. <laughs> Dirt's in the organics chest. Yeah, it makes sense, I guess. It's fine. Let's nail in here. We're all caught up. Right in there. Now I just need to go to the center part of the island. Hopefully we can find another cooking recipe. That'd be nice. I'd like another cooking recipe if we can. Well, we're down to our last smoothie, unfortunately. We should make some more veggie soup. Rolling. Need more clay bowls soon. Because apparently we eat the clay bowls. <laughs> Wait. Apparently we, we munch on the clay bowls and we, we drink the glass cups whenever we consume them. That's how we get our vitamins and minerals in, I guess. I guess that's how it's done. I have to figure out what to do with these berries. Despite being very red, they're not poisonous. Oh, really? What do you want? Drop off. Big shark. Uh, what else do we want to cook ahead of time here? I mean, it doesn't hurt to have the catfish and the salmon pre-done. Drumstick and the meat, then. Get those going next. Then we can go do two rounds of the shark. Grab a bowl. Okay. Definitely could use some more bowls and some more glass, though. Oh! Almost got me. Glass, more planks. We got plenty of planks now, so don't have to worry about that. Uh, Man-made things, glass, food, containers. Like two more things. And then clay. I think it's just straight up clay, right? The bowls. They stack up to 20, so we can get some more in here. Alright, perfect. Done and done. I think now our health is full, our food is good to go. We got more food on the way. Our inventory is not quite as empty as it needs to be. Let's drop off the extra stack of wood. So we got what, 60 in there? Oh my good gracious. We have 160 planks. And it's what, four planks per wall? Planks per wall. All right, so what this means is once we're done with this island and we're just absently like floating, in the sea, what we can do is we can completely and utterly and totally dismantle the entire front of the ship and build the forecastle. We can completely dismantle the front of the ship, create the forecastle, and then extend on the back of the ship to create the secondary aft castle. We'll have enough for the forecastle to build in its entirety. I don't know if we'll have enough to do the aft castle build as well. We might need a, another, like, influx of material, but once we finish with this island, because I see, you know, I see that there's still some other trees up here. It doesn't look like any of those are harvestable, though. That little one looks like a harvestable tree. I actually don't know how many more harvestable trees there are. We're already at 160, so that's pretty good. <laughs> well done, Yoshi. Crushed it. Alright. But I think we're going to end up saving all of that for tomorrow. Make sure I'm in a nice little spot here so I can't get rained on. We're going to go ahead and save that for tomorrow. We've got some great progress done today. The ship is looking great. We actually have a cover now. We've got a whole bunch of extra parts and pieces. Hold on, there's a, a lighter. Nibbles, get off. Nibbles, I'm doing an outro. Get out of here. I'll carry that real quick. These nibbles. Trying to, trying to sign off. Good gracious. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll refund you on that one there, Yoshi. Uh, but yeah. We're we'll going to go ahead and end it here. Thanks again for hanging out, everyone. We'll be playing more Raft tomorrow. We'll be playing more Raft tomorrow. 
And then we'll be playing State of Decay 2 on Wednesday and Thursday. And we should have a Saturday stream with the updated Stardew Valley, which is going on with Enigmatic Rose and the others. And then we'll be right back to Wrath in the New Week. Just do a brand new cycle all the way around. But thanks for hanging out, everyone. I really appreciate it. Hope you have a good morning, evening, night, wherever you are in the world. And I will see you next time. Take care. <laughs> Bye-bye.